Hey everyone, <laughs> welcome back to another round of Kanji Plays, and um, I am super excited to have uh, Jeff Beck here for me from Aurorius Games and to play his wonderful game, Intrepid. Jeff, how you doing? <laughs> I'm doing great now, be careful. You can't say it's wonderful yet, you haven't played it yet. <laughs> it may be a disaster, I don't know, we'll find out. <laughs> it's going to be great, it's going to be fantastic, we're going to have a good time. So um, just to let everyone know um, before we fully get into it that this is an alpha. Um, it's on Tabletopia, and it is open for you to play right now on Tabletopia um, if you log on there to play it. But it is an alpha, so things are subject to change um, and until they're solidified and in, the and in the fulfillment center. So we'll see where it goes. We'll have a good time, and we'll play from there. So first, let's get some information, and then... Um, 
we'll get right down to the table and you can enjoy stuff. So let's pop over here to, so I, instead of going to BGG where I usually go to say what the information is, this game is still being developed. As I said, this is the alpha, um, but it did appear on Kickstarter and uh, Jeff, you, I'll let you talk about it a little bit and talk about uh, the Kickstarter experience and the game and what's offered and if the late pre pledge is still happening. Sure, sure. So yeah, quick rundown on Intrepid, kind of what, what it is, what you get. So Intrepid is a cooperative, asymmetric uh, survival game. So everyone's working together. It's you all win together, you all lose together. There's no hidden agendas or anything like that. You're, you're all trying to make it happen. Um, it's asymmetric in that uh, every single player plays very differently. And it, it's not just... Like, you know, there's different levels of, of asymmetry you'll find in games. Uh, sometimes it's as simple as, as different player powers whatnot. That's not what we're talking about here. What we're talking about is literally the mechanic you use to do the thing you need to do is, is different for every player. So if you think more along the lines of, like, a root or a, a spirit island or something like that, uh, where everything, everyone's functioning a little bit different, that's what we're talking about here. Uh, now, it's a survival game, and specifically you are all playing as astronauts aboard the International Space Station. And what you're trying to survive is life off the planet, right? Because if you think how incredible this is, that now for uh, over 20 years, we've had continuous life, uh, human life that's not on the planet Earth. It's just, that's incredible. It's amazing. And, and that's really what the game celebrates, but also it celebrates all the challenges they face living up there on the International Space Station. So in this game, you, you don't get anything for free. There's no, you don't take anything for granted. So all the oxygen you breathe, all the uh, food you eat, all the uh, climate you use so you don't freeze to death, and all the power so you can keep everything running, it's, it's dependent on you to produce these things. And so that's what this game is all about. Uh, to make matters worse, you know, if that wasn't hard enough, there's some disaster that's taking place on the space station uh, there are several different disasters that come with the game. Uh, the disaster we'll be playing today, it's a new one. It's called Toxic Leak. And it's just going to make us as the astronauts function slower and slower because you know we're trying to deal with this toxic leak that's aboard the station. And as you probably can imagine, you can't just open a window to solve that problem, right? you got to actually <laughs> deal with it. And so that's, that's what we're doing here. So now let me tell you a little about the uh, kind of what you get with the game uh, and, and why you might be interested in, do, in doing a late late pledge at this point. Um, so the base game comes with two different disasters and four different astronauts. Now, when we launched the Kickstarter campaign, we uh, included an expansion for the game that comes with an additional four astronauts and one more disaster. And like I said, all of these play very differently. So it's it's got replayability through the roof. Um, so now that the campaign is over and it, it Thankfully, did very well. Well, people were very excited about this, which I'm grateful for. Um, but now we, now we do have a late pledge available, and the great thing is you can still get this bundle where you can get the base game and the uh, expansion included, and so you can have you know this this full thing with all eight countries and all three disasters available. And as a kind of an added bonus, um, if you jump on this now, you actually have access to a ninth country. Uh, you would need to purchase that as like a little mini add-on, but it's it's really cheap. Um, but it gives you a country that that won't be available in stores uh, for for a good while afterwards, uh, which is South Africa. It's a really cool mechanic of how they manipulate their dice. Um, so I definitely suggest checking that out. Cool, very cool. Yeah, I was spinning through the pages. Um, you were going through those and like the game add-ons that they had um the expansions and plus the unlock content that was there there was um some card upgrades that we got some new disaster cards that were unlocked some enhanced tokens um new mission right. cards it looks like uh new astronauts from a canadian space agency which a lot of our canadian viewers can definitely enjoy yeah um, there you go i mean how many games can you play as a canadian there's not that many let's be honest but you know what, what else is cool about this and it, it really celebrates the the space station is it's it's not just your countries you hear about all the time, right? It's not just the US and Germany and the UK. Like, you know, lots of games have those people, right? But we also have 
Japan, we have Malaysia, we have Canada, we have Brazil, we have countries that don't get a lot of representation in board games featured in this game. And the reason we're able to do that is because all those countries have sent representatives up to the space station. So we're celebrating that fact by making them playable characters in the game. And I think that is so awesome that you did that. I think that was fantastic. Um, yeah, we, we, we love the diversity of it. You know, it, it just, it really celebrates the entire world coming together to make this amazing thing happen that is the space. And, and what's really cool is that each country has a different, um, uh, a different take on it all. Like their difficulty is different. How they handle situations are different. Their, their dice rolls, what they mean are completely different. So it gives a nice set of diversity to the game. Yeah, absolutely. So we we have two countries that are that are level one, and then we go all the way up to level four, meaning they're the most complex. And uh, you know the, the the level one games or rather characters are fantastic if it's the first time playing, or maybe you're playing with someone who's who's new to the game, and you can help teach them, and it's you know it's not going to blow their brains out. Um, whereas if you play the game a bunch, you can put down a level three or level four country, and you're going to have a really tricky puzzle. Now they're all equally balanced, meaning that the level one is going to be able to produce just as many resources as a level four, but it's the the in between, you know, while you're making your your actions and you're making your selections, that the puzzle you're going to be working through is going to be just a little more complex. Yep, indeed. Hey, Rory, how are you doing? Just Rory just pinged us and just say, hey, how we're we doing tonight? So we're doing fine. We're we're going to get into we're doing some... great. <laughs> yeah, we're going to uh, be sure um, if you have any questions, Jeff is the designer of this game. And if you have any questions for Jeff, just ping it in the chat and you'll we'll we'll get those questions asked and answered if you have anything you want to know. Um, sure. So let's see. What do we got? There is. A... Uh, hey, Dragon, how's it going? So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, get down to the table so you guys can see this game. You've heard us talk and. Jeff has done a fantastic job just kind of laying out the game. Um, and, and, but you want to see it. You want to get into it. You want to get into the grit and see how it plays. And I, I check this out, and I'm amped. I'm a super huge space nerd, so I'm super amped to play this game. And um, we'll get down to the table right away. Uh, Jeff, let's go ahead and switch them over so they can get some scenes here. All right. So the, ta the game will be played on Tabletopia, and I know there are um, people who don't, um, you know, they prefer to have the actual hard materials with them, but this is uh, what, what we're going with for right now, especially due to the climate and everything that we have. So we're going to play it on, um, on Tabletopia. We're going to show you how it's played, and hopefully my dice rolls will not be awful. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, so uh jeff i will let let i will shut my mouth and i will let you get into the explanation of how we how, what all these things mean that are on this table and let them ask questions as we go sure yeah so the, the basic uh mechanics of this game let me give you kind of a rundown of what a, a round of a game would look like so we have as you can see here um there are four different we call these resource boards, uh, because we're generating four resources, like I mentioned earlier, aboard the station. So we have climate, so we don't freeze to death. We have nutrition, so we don't starve to death. Over here, we have oxygen, so we can breathe. And we have power, so we can keep the lights on. Now you see, uh, if you look at any one of these here and zoom in a little bit, you can see that uh, initially, we're starting in the negative. And that's true for all of these. So. Uh, in, in, at the beginning of every round, we're going to be in the negative of all of these resources. At the end of the round, if any one of those is still in the negative, it's game over, right? We freeze to death, we starve to death, whatever, whatever it be. Ooh. And so, I think I ticked it too hard. <laughs> yeah, I can. Let's see this. Oh, oh. Hey, you got it. Okay. Yeah. Oh, good. Okay. There we go. All right. Let's see. So there we go. Um, yeah. So we need to make sure that we are producing enough of those resources to stay alive basically because you know there, there there's no phone and home saying hey guys we're starving up here can you send over a ham a cheeseburger All right that doesn't happen aboard the station <laughs> like either you got it or you don't and so how we generate those resources uh well we have these tiles here on the board 
so every country is going to have, start with three tiles, and then we can buy more as we progress throughout the game. And the, in order to trigger these tiles, we need to place dice on them. So let's just look here at some, uh, some of these as way of example. So like, for example, this solar array here. You can see this takes two dice. Um, the, the symbols for you place the dice are joined together. So that means you need to place both the dice at the same time. Other times you have a, a tile that, where they're split apart, and you can place one, and then maybe later on you can place another one. Uh, but in this case, you need to place both of them at the same time. And in this case, they, they need to be doubles. So you, know, you can place two ones, you can place two fours, what have you. When you do that, you're going to first trigger uh, its ability, which is right here. It says gain a new dice equal to, and that's the dice symbol, plus or minus two. Right? So if I put two fours on this, for example, I get a new dice back, and it can either be a six, because it's plus two, or it can be a two, meaning it's minus two. Okay? So a lot of tiles will give dice back. And when you're playing, you're just going to, you're going to keep going, placing dice, getting new dice, placing those dice, keep going, generating as many resources as humanly possible. So that's the ability there on the white background. Uh, on the yellow background is the resource it generates. So in this case, it generates power. And it generates a straight up six power. Uh, so it doesn't matter what dice you place on it. In this case, it's going to generate six. Other tiles, uh, let's look over here. Uh, if you come over here by Russia, and we're going to look at this food locker right here. Uh, so this one, you can take any dice. It can take one dice, but it can take any dice, one through six. But you see it generates nutrition. That's the little apple symbol. Plus, and that, again, that's the dice symbol. So if we place a one on this tile, we're only going to generate one nutrition. That's not great. If we place a six on here, we're going to generate six nutrition. That's a lot better, right? So every time we use this tile, we're going to want to put the highest dice number we possibly can in order to generate as much nutrition as possible. Um, so that's the basics of it. So on a, in a round, simultaneously, all players are going to roll their dice, and then they're, they're going to be placing their dice on their tiles. So that's one nice thing about this game is there is little to no downtime because everyone's going at the same time. Now, we can work together. In fact, we'll definitely want to be working together. Uh, and the primary way we do that is here in the center of the board. We have this big thing we call it the center console. And the four outer uh, tiles are docking modules. And this is how we can share dice between each other. So like, for example, let's say you're trying to get that solar array we were looking at before, you need doubles, and you have a two, but you have no other way to get a two, and so you need another two. So you might say to me, hey, Jeff, do you have a two that I can use? And I'd say, sure, no problem. So I take one of my dice, let's say it's already a two, and I just stick it here on a docking module. And then you could take one of your dice that you haven't rolled yet, and set it to a two, and now that's your dice that you could use to go ahead and place wherever you wanted to and as you see fit. So we can work together sharing dice back and forth up to four dice in a round uh, in order to, to facilitate each other maximizing. So like, for example, if you were playing Russia and you had that food locker, you know you want a six on that food locker because that's how you make the most amount of nutrition. But let's say you just don't have a six, you can't make a six. You might say to me, hey, Jeff, can you make a six? and help me out here, and maybe I can. I say, oh, sure, no problem. I got a six. I don't even need it. Here you go. Um, so that's how we can use these. Now, there are two docking modules that are kind of special, the top and the bottom one. Uh, this top one here, you can share the dice equal to the same number or the same number minus one. Uh, and those do wrap. So like, if I place a one there, let's say I do this, drop this guy right here, that would give you a six. And similar over here, this you can share the same dice number or a dice plus one. Uh, so I could I could place you know a five there, and then you could take a six. And so we can we can manipulate two dice very easily through this through sharing dice there. So let me let me ask you a couple of questions, and we got a question from the chat as well. So about sure. the specific piece, the docking module. Now you put a uh -huh. one on there, and then you said if I if you put a one on there, it could turn into a six, so it's minus one. So are you saying that the minus one or the plus one, like if I put a six on there, the plus one would be a one, and if I put a That's minus right. one on there, it would be a six. So we're just kind of flipping with the dice numbers. Gotcha. Yeah. So you, okay. so basically on on here, and in fact, in most countries, 
uh, when you manipulate dice, they wrap, meaning uh, if you add to a six, it becomes a one, or if you subtract from a one, it becomes a six. Okay. And um, the question that Rory had in the chat was, um, is there a solo variant to gameplay? Yeah, so there is. It's still in development, which is, which is why we're not doing it today. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, but there is a solo variant where you still play one country, uh, but you are in charge of producing all the resources on your own, and we give you some, some boosts to help you out so you can manage that by yourself. Okay. All right. All right, that was the that was the only question we had so far, but so far, yep, yeah, you're doing great. Yeah. Okay, well, let me keep going a little bit here. So once we've placed all of our dice, everyone's done, it's time to count out the resource, right? So we have these four resource wheels, and we'll just kind of go around in order. We start with power, and we just, we'll just go around in a circle. And so we might say, okay, I made uh, six plus one. Okay, so I made seven power, and I add to the board, and then how much oxygen, and then how much nutrition, and then how much climate. And so we figure out how much we made of everything. Assuming nobody's in the zero or no one's in the negative, we, we're going to continue and we're going to figure out what our lowest is, right? So if we made eight power, 10 oxygen, 12 nutrition, but only six climate, then six is our lowest. And that's how much capacity we're going to make in the, at the end of the round. Capacity is kind of like our money in the game. Because of course, if you're aboard the International Space Station, you don't, you don't whip out your credit card to buy new stuff. You know, so you have you have capacity instead. And so capacity, we're going to use that to buy new tiles, buy more dice, uh, buy different upgrades, things like that. And again, that's just a calculation of whatever of the four resources is the lowest. Uh, once we're done calculating capacity, we're going to come over here and we're going to flip one of these disaster cards over. We won't do that yet. because It's going to be a surprise how terrible <laughs> it's going to be. Uh, so disaster cards, you can see this little green mark here at the bottom. So they start at, at green, and then they're going to go yellow, and then they're going to go orange, and then if we survive that long, they're going to go red. And once they go red, it's like it's pretty bad news, right? We're not we're not happy campers. We want to get we want to get things solved as quickly as possible. Um, but th they're going to mess with us in different ways, right? In this case, since we're doing the toxic leak disaster, primarily what it's going to do is it's going to make us placing dice harder and harder to do. And we'll see how that works when we flip over a card and see what they do with it. Um, but so we'll flip over a card, we'll deal with that, and then it's time to spend our capacity. And we can talk more detail about that, but generally what you're going to be doing is either buying dice or buying new tiles to kind of expand out what we can do. Now, the question that is appropriately asked at this point is, how do we win the game? How do we survive? How do we how do we conquer this disaster we're we're trying to deal with? And if you see over here, these we have these mission cards. We have three mission cards that we need to satisfy in order to um, solve this disaster and and win the game. So at the beginning of the game, you can only see the first card. Once we start that mission, we'll see the second one, and then once we start the second one, we can see the third one. There's three in the game. Uh, what they do is they consume a certain amount of resources. So like this first one here is called Blood, Sweat, and Tears. And you see it consumes six power and six nutrition for three rounds. How we start it is, we're gonna is when we're feeling ready, which we don't want to do at the beginning, I can guarantee you bad news if we do. <laughs> but, if, but as soon as we're ready, we're, one of us could place a one on that card. And that starts it off. So that mission's now started. And then starting with that round, and then for three consecutive rounds, it's, con it's going to consume those resources each round. And then once we're done with that, then that, that mission card is resolved. And so we could have multiple mission cards going at the same time. Like if we're feeling really super overpowered, you know, it happens sometimes, <laughs> not too often, but we could do it. Uh, so you could run multiple mission cards. And basically we need to finish those three mission cards before this disaster deck either kills us or runs out. And so this is this is this blood, sweat, and tears objective card is added on top of the survival that we have to just make to be able to live through currently. So if we say exactly. if we say we need uh, we not we don't need to be in the negative of food, as soon as the objective card comes into play, that um, minus six nutrition is something that we need to be aware of because now it's not we need to be at zero, we need to be at six. 
to at, get at to a zero. Bare minimum. At a bare yes, minimum exactly. to be able to survive that. <laughs> <laughs> exactly okay. right. Yeah. All so right. we need to be prepared for that. Uh, and and you know that that can be kind of challenging. So we're going to need to build up for that for sure. Um, so thankfully, we we can buy these new tiles and we can generate things. Um, so so you know we'll, we'll be able to do that for sure. But yeah, it's going to take it's you know a few rounds to kind of get get prepped and ready to go. Okay. All right. Um, all right. Well, uh, so one other thing I want to mention here: you see on this wheel, so you got the negative three, two, and one, and then you have zero, one, two, and three that are all in orange. So obviously the negative, that means we get it's game over. We're in big trouble. Um, if we get if we end the round any one of them in an orange, it's it's still not great. It's not the end of the game, but it's, it's we're kind of in the warning zone. And what that means is. Uh, if you zoom in here on the board right here, I keep wheeling on this. Uh, yeah, thing. sorry, that's it's kind of kind of tricky. I know. Let's just, there we go. It does like a huge okay. throw wheel too with it. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah, because actually those those drains were starting at negative three. Those are going to get worse, right? As we buy new tiles, it's going to add more and more to the drain, and so each round it's going to get harder and harder for us to kind of deal with what we need to produce. Because every time you add a new uh, tile, excuse me onto the station, it's going to add to the drain of another resource. So we'll, we'll, be, we'll be seeing how that works here in a little bit. But so anyhow, if we end up in the orange, it's not game over. But what it does mean is we need to pull one of these emergency supplies. So the first time we do that, we'll slide this red cube over. And instead of making, you know, one, two, or three of whatever resource uh, as our capacity, we're going to make five. So it's it's a little bit of a bonus, right? Because we're, we're we're drawing on our emergency supplies that we have aboard the station uh, to help us deal with this situation. The second time we do we are in that warning zone, we'll slide this over and we make six instead of whatever number we would have made. So hey, again, we're, we're drawing on supplies. That's great. The problem is we have very limited supplies aboard the station. We can only do that twice. If we do it a third time, we slide it over here and it's game over. So we don't want to do that. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Okay. So it's a lot, a lot to sink in, but you know, we'll we'll take it one round at a time. We'll kind of figure it out. But before we do that, let's talk about the different nations we have here. Um, so, and this is kind of unique to Tabletopia. The final game will have each nation independent of each other. But in, for for the sake of Tabletopia and just for the sake of kind of speeding up the setup, we have each nation is is double sided with a different nation on the back. So um, I can kind of walk you through what we have here and tell you a little bit about how they work. I won't go into a lot of detail, but then you can kind of pick which one you want to try and we can go, I'll give you a little bit more detail how they work. Okay. So, uh, so on your side here, we have the two complexity level one countries, USA and Russia, kind of the first two countries to start off the International Space Station. And how you know their complexity one is if you look on the card here, I just blew up USA. Um, mm -hmm. There's this the star that's just in the one box that lets you know that they are they're beginner beginner level, right? Right, exactly. Yep. And so how USA works, uh, like you already saw, they have tiles that want doubles. That's very common for USA. And how they do with that, if you look here at this aluminum shielding tile, they have a lot of uh, cards like this that you place dice on them. They're they're very flexible. Um, you know, meaning you can place almost any dice number, and they're going to give you a dice back that's plus one or minus one. And just like in the those docking modules, if you add a plus one to a six, it becomes a one, and if you subtract one from a one, it becomes a six. So they they, they continue to wrap around like that. So, and my, so you can my my bad dice rolls can actually get me sixes. I'm okay with this exactly. game. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and and I, actually, I'm glad you brought that up. That's one thing I want to point out here is um, when kind of one of the, our core design philosophies for Intrepid, because there's a lot of dice games out there. And frankly, you know, maybe I shouldn't say this too loud, but I don't like a lot of them because I don't like a game where I, I roll some dice and it's like, oh, look, I got a bad roll. Oh, I guess I'm not going to do good this turn. Like that just kind of stinks, right? That's not fun. That's not like a, a fun puzzle to solve. It's just like, oh, this is what I rolled. This is what I got. Oh, well, right? And so a core design philosophy behind Intrepid is that your initial dice roll is not 
going to determine how good or bad you're going to do in a round. It's just determining the random chaos that you have to work through, figure out, puzzle out, and then you can make, you know, it's gold out of hay and, and really turn it into something. Like and so, that. so all of these countries, you know, they, they all roll dice. Absolutely. But they all have ways to manipulate their dice to get them to a better state, which is what they need in order to produce their resource. So just something to, you know, keep yeah. in mind. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, yeah. So USA, it's all about placing dice, getting new dice that are greater than or less, you know, the one up or one down or sometimes two up or two down. Uh, manipulating those dice into doubles quite often uh, so that you can use other tiles. Uh, Russia. So Russia is, uh, what they're primarily looking for, like we saw with that food locker, is high numbered dice. They like, they like the fives and sixes quite often. But how they get those is they have tiles uh, like this electrolysis chamber here that allows them to roll new dice. So you can put a dice on here. Again, very flexible. You can put any dice number you want. And when you do, you're going to roll two dice. You're going to, of those two dice, you're going to pick one to keep, and you're going to get rid of the other one. So uh, Russia allows you to kind of fish for those nice high numbers that you're looking for um, by using, and you, you know, so you can use this, uh, this electrolysis chamber twice. So it means you can roll four dice with it, keep two of them. Uh, so hopefully you can find that high number. Now, again, if you can't, you know, that's when you ask your buddy for some help, and you know, there's, there's other ways to deal with it. That's generally how Russia works, rolling, trying to find those high numbers. So those are level one, pretty simple, not, not a ton of brain-burning power going into them. But, you know, there's, there's still some fun puzzles there for sure. Uh, all right, let's talk about uh, over here. Uh, so this is Germany. Germany is an example of a level two complexity. So Germany, and if you, yeah, if you look here on this board here, you see up here in the top right, uh, you have these slots here. That's how many dice you're going to be rolling. So like, for example, beginning of the game, USA, they're going to be only rolling two dice, not a lot of dice. However, Germany, they're rolling six dice, right? They're just like, boom, boom here come the dice, right? <laughs> it's, it seems great. Unfortunately, it's not quite so easy for Germany because all of their dice start in storage, meaning they're all locked away and they need to get them out. How do they do that is they need to spend dice with the equivalent number of pips. So like, for example, let's say I had a two, a four, and a six in my storage, right? I could spend the six to get the two and the four out of storage. Now, when I spend it, it's gone. It's a race from existence. But I now have the two and the four. They're out of storage, and they're ready to be used. All right? Okay. Uh, vice versa, let's say I really need that six. I could spend the two and the four to get the six out of storage, right? So Germany is all about figuring out how to maximize getting dice out of their storage so they can get them onto their tiles. They have some of their tiles, like for example, if you look here at their aluminum shielding tile, it lets them take a dice from storage. So if I can get, you know, maybe a two and a two or a two and a three uh, and place them on my aluminum shielding, now I can pull a dice out of storage without even spending for it. So I can get that six out without burning a bunch of other dice. So they're trying to kind of puzzle out the best way to get dice out of their storage onto their tiles to, to maximize their result. Nice. So that's an example of a, a level two. Uh, level three, actually, let me tell you a little bit about Japan. Unfortunately, Japan cannot be played on Tabletopia because of how its mechanic works. And I'll explain that, and, and hopefully you'll see what I mean. Um, so it's not here today, and which makes me sad, because it's probably my favorite country. It's a ton of fun to play. But basically how they work is they roll their dice, and then they lock them in physical space. Uh, meaning the orientation of the, not just what's on top, but the orientation of the dice is super critical, because they then have tiles that I place a dice on that tile, I get a new dice, I set it exactly to the orientation of that previous dice, right? So maybe there's a two on top and there's a four facing me, right? I, I get this dice and I put the two on top and I place the four facing on me. And then I can rotate it in physical space, maybe to the left. So maybe now, instead of the two being on top, now the two's on, on the left side and maybe uh, facing up is now a six. And so you're actually manipulating your dice in 3D space, trying to get them. And they have 
tiles that just take threes. So they're trying to manipulate their dice in 3D space to make a bunch of threes so they can put them on their tile. I like that so a lot. It's it's a really fun, um, you know, kind of spatial puzzle mm -hmm. that I honestly have never seen another dice game do, but it's super fun. It's super puzzly trying to figure out how you're going to get all my dice to, you know, into these orientations that I want. Mm -hmm. So it's super fun. But unfortunately, neither Tabletopia nor Tabletop Simulator have the ability to, like, just rotate a dice to the left or rotate it down or, you know, all the different things you need to do. So we can't play them here. So that's too bad. <laughs> but, <laughs> you know, oh, well. Yeah. All right. So uh, now, real quick, and I, I apologize, I'm, I'm talking forever, so hopefully I'm not boring everyone. Uh, hopefully your stream isn't like completely out of viewers now, because everyone's like, boring. <laughs> no, no, uh, there, there's a lot of good things coming. Um, I know what, one person, uh, Rory, said he's been like, he's new to the he's new to the, the board gaming, but the engine's looking really great as a builder system, so. And cool. uh, Scott cool. Jansen, hey, Scott, how's it going? Says it sounds really cool, so. All right. Well, cool. Yeah. Well, you know, if people start nodding off, just uh, just kick me. <laughs> but uh, just real quick. Okay. So I'll give you an example of a complexity level four, which is this UK here in front of me here. Um, so UK, how they work, unlike any other country, they have tiles that dice that dice start on those tiles. So like this food locker here, for example, um, you see it has this this funky looking dice plot with this kind of meter meter on it um and at the beginning of the round you're going to have a dice on it so let me just set a dice to a three and stick it on like i would in a regular game and what you're going to do when you roll your dice you need to place a dice that is greater than the dice that's already on the tile right so i roll my dice and let me just grab a dice here and let's say i roll let's say i roll it and let's say I get a uh, four, just for example purposes. All right, so that's cool. So now I can put this four here. Now, when I at the end of the round, I'm going to make nutrition not based on the dice I place, but based on the dice that's already there. Right. So in this case, I'm going to equal. I'm going to generate nutrition equal to the counter dice. So the dice that was already there plus one. Right. So it's going to be three is already there plus one. I'm going to make four. Now, why that gets puzzly is because at the end of the round the the counter dice goes away the dice i did place gets slides over and it becomes the new counter dice so meaning that you really have to think a turn or two ahead when you're playing the uk because the dice i'm placing now are couldn't potentially mess me up in future rounds because if i put a six on that food locker well there is no dice higher than a six right and so i have to reset that that food locker which means i have to pull off my six and put a one on there, which means in the, the next round, I'm going to only be able to make one plus one. I only make two nutrition, which is not great. So you really have to kind of think through not just this round and what's the best thing to do, but in future rounds and like, okay, if I do this now, how's that going to mess me up later? Nice. So it, it can get really puzzly uh, to make sure you don't end up putting yourself in a bad place. Very nice. So that's an example of a level four. All right, so now that I've I've talked everyone's ear off, let's actually talk about playing. So the first thing we're going to need to do is pick which countries we want to play. So let me ask you, what who are who sounds interesting to you? I've grabbed the Russia and the U.S. as complexity one since I'm since I'm a newbie learning. Okay, that's <laughs> that's perfect. You're gonna you're gonna want to pick one of those because each each player is only going to play one country. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Um. Hmm. I'll go with I'll go with the US. Okay. That sounds great. So let's go ahead and just we're gonna move off uh Russia. We're not gonna need those here today. Kind of clear those off there. Okay, and then uh so I'm gonna go with uh the UK because okay. you know I'm crazy that way. <laughs> so I'm gonna clear off Germany. All right. All right, so then we should be pretty much ready to go. So let's uh, let's go ahead. Unless you have any any questions, let's go ahead and, and why don't you grab your two dice because that's how many you're starting with. Okay. And uh, let's roll it up and just you know we'll try it try it around. And if you have any questions, uh, just shout them out. But otherwise, let's just go ahead and do it. All right. You got a five and a three. 
All right, now one thing to point out here, because we are playing a two-player game, mm -hmm. uh, we both have these kind of special tiles here. This is yours here. It's a thermoelectric generator. These these only show up in less than four-player games, so like three, two, and one. And okay. these are these are very powerful tiles. As you can see, when you place a die on it, it's going to generate both power and climate equal to six. So that's 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 quite a bit, and it, you're going to be able to roll new dice. So it's 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 kind of a a freebie, if you will. Okay. Uh, to give you a little boost because there's not another player. Because usually, you know, like in a four player game, there are two people making power and climate, but in a two player game, there's like, only you are making power and climate. And so this is kind of there to help help give you a little bit of a boost. Okay. Uh, so make sure to use that tile. And in fact, I would suggest using it first. Yep. <laughs> uh, just to kind of get it out of the way. Yep. I'll grab this lovely three and put it over there. I'm going to use mine as well. Dice. And it says I get a new die to roll when I right. do that? Right, so yep, just okay. grab one. Yep, there you go. Oh, hey, hey, a six. I need to be playing more on Tabletop on Tabletopia. <laughs> <laughs> See, you thought your luck was bad. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh the, the chat can attest to my luck. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, so let's see. I got a five and a six. Gain a new dice plus one. May change a current die. I don't have doubles, so therefore I do the five here. Oops, sorry, wrong one. Is that the right one? Either one. Either one's fine. Uh, I'll do that one, and then I gain a new dice, which is a six, which I'll roll to a six. All right. And then I have my doubles that I can put on this guy. Huh. Back up. Okay, so then I got my doubles. I gain a new die that's plus or minus two for six. So I'll do minus yes. two to get the four. There you go. And then I'll put that four on here, unless you need it. I don't. But one thing I would suggest is Actually, you'll note that yeah, that one will give you a dice back, so yep. you can you can hit both of them. Uh, yep, that makes sense. Be... That makes sense. Yep. And I can plus one to five on that one. Right. Yeah, that makes sense. I did. There we go. So covered. Perfect. Okay, so you're done placing your dice. I'm done placing my dice. So now it's time to count everything up. Okay. So so let's start with power. So how much power did you make? Okay, so according to this, I got two doubles on there, so that's 12 power, if I understand that correctly. Uh, it's only, see, see where it says total dice? Or sorry, all dice? Yes. So in that case, it's not going to be for each dice, it's going to be oh, all dice okay. are, are okay. going to equal to six. Okay. Many hostages just died on his dice rolls. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so that is true uh, so okay so i get six power from that plus right. um the six power from the thermal electric generator so that's 12 power total perfect all right so look we're, we're, we're already doing great <laughs> <laughs> all right all right let's uh let's do one of yours now let me do let's see uh climate okay there. so climate this is the one which is per. So this is two climate for the aluminum shielding, plus four for six. Oh, for yeah, plus four for that one, and then plus six. So six five six four ten. Right, it's four, right? Six four ten plus two twelve. There you go. So climate goes to. Do I put it up to this? I put it up to that twelve number there. So you don't because you're starting at negative three. Oh, oh, my, okay, so it's 12 minus 3, gotcha. Right. 9. Okay. There you go. Okay, and then we can do your nutrition you have over there, so that's me. Mm -hmm. Now, so I made over here, uh, this food locker, I made 3 plus 1, so that's 4. And this water waste recycler, I made 2 plus 1, so that's 6. And then my photobioreactor chamber, I also made 6, so I made 12, which would put us at the 9. Yep. And then uh, for oxygen, I also made 12. So that also puts us nine, which is that's that's what you want in a round one is you want to make uh, 12. Well, in a two player game, you want to make 12 of everything. So we did great. 
So, okay, just what we need. So, uh, so now our lowest, they're all the same. They're all at nine. So we can move our capacity up to nine. So everyone gets a capacity of nine. Right. Okay. Yeah, and we all, we all share that. Okay. Well, so we all get our own, I should say. So yeah, so everyone has nine capacity to spend now. But now before we spend anything, we're going to flip over this disaster card and see what the fates have brought us. Okay. Okay, so we got the cold sweats going already. All right, so you see it says toxic dice equal to six. Now what that means is in this next round, placing a six is going to become kind of tricky. Um, you can do it, but in order to do it, you need to discard a dice. Oh. <laughs> okay. So, you, so that, you know, that could obviously be bad. Now, yes. if you can if you can work out that you don't have any sixes, then that's fine. But just just something to keep in mind that we really don't want to deal with sixes this upcoming round. Okay. Now, on top of that, we're going to add some to the climate drain, depending on the number of discarded dice. Now, since this is our first card, we don't have any discarded dice, so that's great. But we still have so we still have zero to one there at the bottom. So we're going to add three to the climate drain. So this is where you're going to spin your wheel on the climate. So that instead of being negative three here, it's going to be negative six. Okay. You can go ahead and wheel it because I'll probably throw it far. <laughs> okay. Let's see. There's five and six. There we go. All right. So, so that's the end of that phase. Now it's a disaster. Now remember, so for future rounds, it's, or for the future round, it's going to be six. But for right now, that's what it's done. Okay. So now it's time we can spend our money. Or by money, I mean capacity, because that's what we have on the station. Mm -hmm. So uh, at the beginning of the game, um, let's see. Oh, we also advance this tile tier token up one space. So at the beginning of the game, all we have access to are tier one tiles. Okay. If this moves up here to, to T2, that's how we get tier two. And then we get tier three, and then we can get all the way up to tier four. Okay. Um, so that's going to move up by itself each round. We can speed that up. By spending two per player, so in this case four, uh, to move it up one space, because get the the higher tiered tiles are just better in okay. every way. Okay. Right. So, but that's up to us. You know, if we want to spend our money on tiles, we want to spend our money, uh, you know, to move that up. We want to spend our money on dice. We got we got lots of things to think about. Okay. Uh, you know, right off the bat, we know we're going to want to get some more climate because we know climate just took a big yeah. hit because we had the we had the cold sweats going on yep. the station. Mm -hmm. so that's that's something you want to think so yeah so right so these four tiles here are your tier one tiles so those are the things that you could be looking at buying uh, right. but also you know keep in mind some tiles will give you a dice back you know you place a dice on it you get a new dice mm -hmm. uh, most tiles are not that generous and so you'll you know if you buy a new tile you got to think well do i have dice to put on that tile is there another tile that I don't want to put dice on anymore? Or am I going to buy some new dice to put dice on it? You know, so you got, you got to make sure you have some way to activate it. Because without dice, the tile is doing you no good. All right, gotcha. So there's also some, something interesting on these tier one tiles as well. <clears throat> um, I'm going to pop up hydrogen fuel cell for my example. Okay. And if you notice on here, so I'm assuming the arrow down is how much capacity it costs to get this tile. That's correct. But notice down here where it says this minus two on oxygen. That's right. So that what that means is if you buy this hydrogen fuel cell, it's going to add two to the oxygen drain, which that's fine. Every tile is going to add to the drain of something else. Okay. And you'll see quite often, well, in fact, always, um, the, the thing that your tiles add are what, uh, affecting me, and the things my tiles add to the drain affect you. And so there, we have to work together when we buy tiles. Gotcha. You know, so like, let's say you want that, um, that hydrogen fuel cell tile. You'd probably want to say to me, hey, Jeff, is it okay if I hit oxygen? And I'll say, oh, yeah, that's fine. Let me buy this tile to kind of counterbalance. It. So you okay. have to work together as a team because if any one resource gets tanked, we're in, we're in a world of hurt. Okay. All right. And, but since we're dealing with a food problem, especially with that going to negative six drain... I need to pay more attention to that. The problem right. is, is that whichever one I upgrade to that would help with that is going to be a drain on you. Because 
if, if I can't get sixes because of this because of the gas leak. Uh, or right. should I because I'd lose a dice if I want to use that six, and that's bad. Um, right. So I need to think about kind of what I want to roll with. So I can go with a four uh, with a tier one um, this thermal exchange unit, uh, which will give me a plus two for what's on there. Um, it right. Would be no, that, a... that is only a plus two, which is which is not super. I mean, we already right. we're at a, a negative three deficit right now. Mm. So this one here. Um, the, the capillary evaporator, though ideally you put a six on it, you don't have to. Right? right. You could put a five on it, and then that's you know that's okay. It's not it's not perfect, but it's not the end of the world. And I guess that's okay because um, let's say I want right now I'm rolling two dice. If I mm-hmm. want to roll more than two dice, and I'm gonna look on my card here, and I want to roll three, so I have to upgrade to do that. How do I upgrade to roll more dice? Right, so you see between the, the two and the three, there's a little another little down arrow with a four in it. Yeah. So it co- it's going to cost you four capacity to go from two to three dice. Uh, and when you're ready to go to from three to four dice, it's going to cost you six, and then eight, and then ten. You know, so it gets more and more expensive okay. as you go up. Okay, so then my thought is kind of I have nine. If I do mm-hmm. this capillary evaporator, which would cause that drain on oxygen for you to get the three to six tier one, then I would spend the final four into getting more dice to roll. Yeah, that sounds great. All right, so you're okay with, with me buying that one? All right. Yeah, I think go ahead and buy that one. And what I'm going to do to counterbalance that mm-hmm. is I'm going to buy a tile as well that, that produces oxygen. And this may sound crazy, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy one that hits climate because, you know, in theory, you can produce more climate than than what that disaster card just did and so so we can we can make it all we can keep everything kind of balanced okay that's what i'm thinking is gonna be the best for us okay okay so when we purchase these cards what placement do they go in so you can place them anywhere you want and i'd say with this disaster placement is not super important because this disaster goes after your dice as opposed to your tiles okay in other disasters placement becomes much more important yeah, there was um, for people who are who are um, just joining or have been watching. Uh, hey, Brian, how's it going? Um, the one that uh, one stop Mike from One Stop Co-op Shop did a playthrough, um, a hard set playthrough of the board game of a preview of this uh, in in alpha alpha version of it because this game <laughs> has changed since then. But he did one, and I think it was the meteor disaster that he did. Right. And what was power, yeah. what was really cool about that mechanic? See, this one that we're going through now um, is that we're dealing with with toxic leaks, right? And so we've got coal sweats from this toxic leak, and that's what we're dealing with. And it's all right. The toxic leak is growing and growing. With his, it was a meteor disaster, and meteors actually struck the space station and destroyed modules that you put in. I mean, the two separate mechanics of play for this were so different. And, mm-hmm. and and I think that's what I really love about this. It's not like, oh well, okay, well we get the next set of cards. Okay, instead of instead of A, it's B, but it's more of the same thing. This is completely different mechanics that's happening in this, and I I, I love it. I think it's great. <laughs> that's right. great. So I'll spend the four to go up to three dice. Um, I put that down, so that takes me back down to zero capacity. Okay, and so I bought a tile. Um... And then I also upgraded my dice as well, but my tile is going to drain climate, so I'm going to uh, spin your wheel here again. Yep. Oops, this way. And so you're actually up to negative eight, so you can see how quickly that goes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's scary times. <laughs> so where? So is, you know. So where do we begin? Really, really counting on you here to stamp out some <laughs> climate for us. You hear that? He's counting on me for my dice rolls, everyone. <laughs> Uh, this, may, this may end badly. We'll see. <laughs> so where does where does the starter point start now? Does it stay at where where we landed? Okay, before? yeah, great question. So yeah, so now it's time to reset the round. Oh, one thing I should say before we're done mm-hmm. um, with the with the buy phase mm-hmm. is you'll see next to your a country card, there's a, another tile right here. We call our, our career tiles. And so every player is both an astronaut from a particular country and has a certain role aboard the station, right? So yours, for example, is the medical officer. And so it gives you a certain 
little minor ability that you can use during the buy phase once each round. And so like the medical officer, once per buy phase, you can transfer up to three capacity to another player. So that's great if, you know, maybe I, I need to buy this really great tile because our, our oxygen just got smashed and I can't afford it. I can say, hey, you, can you lend me a capacity so I can get this tile I need? And you're like, sure, right, here you go. You know, so yeah. all of these all of these abilities are kind of they're a little bit of a sacrifice on your part, so you can help out a teammate, and that's really important in any cooperative game that players have an ability to sacrifice to help someone else out, because that's really where teamwork comes into play, mm -hmm. right? And so that's a, a really important part of the game is I'm going to do this thing so that you can do a little bit better this round. Uh, so, Rory, so, so Rory asks, what triggers the game's ending? Yeah, so um, if so, the game ends, either we lose because any one of our resources ends around in the negative, or we win because we finished three of these mission cards. So a game usually lasts, oh, I would say maybe 10 rounds. Okay. Um, all right, so yeah, so you could use that ability um, during the, the buy phase. Mine here is the flight engineer. Once per buy phase, you may increase the drain of your resource by two in order to decrease the drain of another resource by two. So like, for example, we know climate's kind of in a bad spot. So maybe I could uh, move some of that climate drain into oxygen. Um, oh, gotcha. Though, like a you system know, so, rear so, out, gotcha. Okay. Right, right, exactly, exactly. So, you know, so there's different little little minor abilities that we could do during the buy phase. All okay. right, so that's done. So now we're going to reset. What that means is we're going to take our red cubes and move them all the way back to the, bo to the bottom left. So you're going to go all the way to negative eight on climate and then just negative three on nutrition over there. Ooh, it's hot here. <laughs> 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 Okay, so yeah, we'll move that one there. All so, right, so mm -hmm. we are. So, I, uh, yeah, any questions? Or are we ready for the next round? Uh, we're ready for the next round. My only question is, I know I and Tabletop Simulator is just like a, a left click select all to get all the dice selected. In Tabletopia, what's the select all the dice? To roll? Uh, yeah, same thing. You can you can left click and then drag to make a box around them. And when I left also, click, the camera pulls. Strange enough. Uh, the other option is you can hold down. Oh, sorry, not left click. Uh, left shift and then drag. Ah, there it is. Gotcha. Uh, you can also, if they're not close to each other, you can hold down left shift and then just click on each one individually and it'll multiply select. All right, perfect. All right. Let's roll it and see how we do. Yep. And remember, if you need anything, uh, just shout it out and let's, yep. let's figure out what we got. All right, well, I can't use sixes. <laughs> <laughs> which just put me in a bad way. But maybe I got something that would help. Um, I may change a die currently at 2 to plus 1. I may change a die currently at 5. Uh, so first of all, I need to deal with this. So I'm going to put this 3 up here to get at least 6. Um, can't sleep on the power. Ooh. And this is roll a roll a new die. Okay, so I get a new die for that. Roll that. Hey, there's that one. Um hmm. So you're stuck with a six, I see. Yeah. Which is a toxic die. I also have a six that I'm not happy about. So this is a great opportunity for us to use these these docking modules, okay, and and kind of manipulate these sixes into something that both of us would be happy to use. I see. So, like I, for example, could give you I could turn this six into a five, if that would be helpful for you by put it placing it here. It, it would, it would. And then you could take a new dice, set it to a five, and then you would have that available. Yeah, that that would be that would be perfect for the double actually. And then if if you wouldn't mind helping me out, yep. Um, by by placing dropping your six here, and then that will become a one. 
which is fine for me. Yep, go for it. Thank you very much. All right, so... Actually, I don't know if I want to do that, because I've already got... Powers, power just needs to be... I would just have six if I just... If I don't do the doubles. Um, minus three would push us at three. That might be problematic. Oh, um, see, did you roll a new dice when you... Yeah, uh... I did. Yep, yep. That's the one okay. that's over there. That's the one that's sitting over oh, there. Oh, right, right. So I might... I'm thinking of... Um, gain a new die. Plus or minus two. Uh, that could work. So let's say I do uh, plus or minus two, this one says. Mm -hmm. Okay, so then this one would be like a three. Right. Nope, that's not a three. Yeah, if it, like I said, if it does that, just re-roll the dice and then it'll, it'll kind of reset. Ah, I re-roll yeah. to a three. <laughs> so, okay, or so, you get exactly what you want, yep. So then I put the three there, the one here. Which... Now when you place... Both of those, you're going to get new dice back. Yep. Right. Yep. So I get a, I gain two, one dice, correct? Or two dice uh, plus or minus one of the lowest number, I assume? Uh, no. So you can do that one at a time, right? So you could place the three, get a four. Ah. And then, and then if you wanted, because now you have a one and a four, you could now place either the one or you could place the four there and get a five. You know what I mean? Gotcha. Yep. That makes sense. All right. So we can take our time with it. It's not placed both and then determined. All right. Perfect. Right. Right. Yeah. When the, when the dice slots are separate like that, you can do one and then later on you can do another one. When they're joined, like on your solar array, you have to do them at the same time. Okay. Um, actually, before I do that, I'm trying to get onto this guy. Which I need to, because this will this will give me a five, but I also want to get this four. Uh, may change okay. a die currently at two. Let's see, huh? All right. So actually, so I can help you out because yeah, you need a two through five, right? Yeah. So I have an ability. I I still have one dice left that I haven't placed on a tile that I can re-roll an unplaced dice. So oh, if you give okay. me that one, yep. I can re-roll it, basically, and we'll just pray that it's, it's not a one or a six that we get here. There you go. It's all yours. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's, let's hope. And we're rolling. And, oh, oh here we go. Five. Perfect, perfect. Miracles. <laughs> <laughs> so that works. All right, so change this to five. And yeah, so that is a good example of when you really do need to work together to kind of make make the puzzles work out, which is okay. which is a big part of the cooperative nature of this game. <laughs> nice. All right, so that should be all. That's all I've got. All right. Well, let's count it up then. So let's see your power. You should make the same amount as last time. Yeah, right? which is twelve. Change there. All right. So let's do that. Okay. Let's do climate next because that climate's the, the big. All right. The big one. So let's start off with the new with the new tile. So climate is. Climate plus the number of dice, so it's five plus here four, which is nine plus one, which is ten. Yeah, plus that's six. gonna be one for each. Oh, on okay. The... So, so um, ten, eleven, and then uh -huh. plus six, which is seventeen. Perfect. So, seventeen minus eight is nine, I believe. Yep, yep. Hey, we lived. Okay. <laughs> hey, we did it. <laughs> All right. Okay, and then uh, nutrition. I have two and let's see, two and four is and then six more. Okay, so I have twelve. So yeah, oh. the same as last time. Okay. And then oxygen. Let's make sure we're okay here. I've got six okay. and six and four. All right, so that's 16 minus 5. Yeah, so in fact, I have 11 oxygen, so we're doing even better than we did. Nice. All right. So then our lowest is still 9. Yep. We have a bunch of those, so we made 9 more capacity. All right. All right. 
All right, so we're going to flip over another disaster card now. Yay. Um, and this will be the last of the of the level one of the green level disasters. So after that, you see we're going to yellow. Okay. So things are getting worse. Uh, so we got, okay, so the toxic dice this round is going to be three. And we need to disable, uh, well, two nutrition tiles, but since this is a, a one to two player, we're only going to disable one nutrition tile. So disable is just means for the upcoming round, uh, we're going to disable something. So that will be on me. Okay. So I'm going to take one of these disable tokens here and drop it on this guy right here. Poop. Okay, so that means that, that means this upcoming round, I am not able to use that tile. So I definitely need to buy something to deal with that. Yeah, and I and I may have to make sure that what I pick if I upgrade a tile is not a drain on um, right. nutrition. Gotcha. Or or in fact, maybe it is a drain on nutrition because maybe I buy something that's gonna I'm gonna be able to use even more than I would otherwise. Does this yeah. negative does this negative eight drain on climate stay for the remainder of the game since that's how it, it does. Oh man. Yep. I like it. <laughs> I like it. I like yep. it. They, things just get worse from here on out. <laughs> <laughs> hey Steven, how's it going? Glad you can make it. Alright, so I let's see what we got here. Um power's been fine so far. So me boosting up power doesn't really gain us now, much. Now, okay, so now this is a good opportunity to, uh, for us to think about this this disaster card, or sorry, this mission card over here as well. Mm -hmm. Meaning that at some point, we we're going to want to put a it. dice on it and start that guy yeah. and drain, and it's going to drain six from our power and from our nutrition. Right. So, you know, maybe getting another uh, power tile is is a good way to go for that oh because we're about to kick it in gotcha gotcha you know go ahead. yeah at some point we want to we need to do that yeah and a new die plus two minus two they change the die currently at four um i like to gain a new die thing but it's a food drain of minus two that's fine that should not be a problem because i'm gonna i'm gonna buy let's see two uh i buy this one probably deal with it but then that means i have to hit climate so um i might be able to offshoot that but if i do it's going to be another drain on food but oh, you know what here's what we can do mm -hmm. you go ahead and buy that i'll buy this but instead of hitting climate i'm going to use my ability and and move the drain into one of my resources okay all right so i'll, I'll use my my flight engineer ability so instead of hitting, if you put it in, climate, yeah, if you put it in power, I could buy this power tile, um, that gives me plus six on a double. All right, let's do that. Okay. All right, and that costs five, so that brings me down to four. Do you lose capacity if you don't use it? No, it does. It does stay around. Okay. Um, I could transfer some to you, so I don't know if you need any. No, I'm I'm probably okay. Let's see. Um, you could save it. Another thing we could do is we could advance this tile tier, um, so we can get you know it. So it costs four to advance it each space. You have four left over, is that right? Yeah, I do. And I also have four left over, so we could we could advance it twice if we wanted to, which means next round we'd get to tier two. Um. Yeah. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's go crazy. Yeah. I'm I'm giving you all the pro strategies. <laughs> okay. All right. So this that oh. sounds pretty good. All right. Oh, and these come off the hab, or they stay yeah, on them? Yeah. No, they come off. Okay. And then don't forget to reset your red cubes. Yep. All reset over here. Okay. Perfect. All right. Well, then I think we're ready for another round. All right, and let's uh, let's see what we do. Remember, no threes this time. Oh my gosh, yes! <laughs> it's gonna be all <laughs> sixes, all sixes, all the time. <laughs> <laughs> all exactly. Right. Let's do it. Okay. Hey, close enough. <laughs> wow, that's not bad. You have no threes, so you're fine. Yeah, yeah. You're in, you're in a good place. Okay. Well, I put this here. I have a three, so I gotta deal with that at some point. So I'm gonna put this four here to guarantee eight. 
Reroll. Okay. Okay, that's pretty good. That guy. Another six. All right. Wow. You are sitting on sixes. Yep. Like nobody's business. <laughs> Fantastic. All right, so <laughs> I gotta find a way to get a double off of. Okay, so let me do this. If I give two here, I get I gain a die. I can make it a four. Then I can put a four here. To make to get a fiver. I can then put the five here to get a six. I can put the two sixes there to get either a two, which I don't want, or a four. So I'm going to get a four. This is crazy. OK. <laughs> so <laughs> this will be a four. But I don't get any dice back from this, and this is important. So I could put a four here to get four. So I would have a total of 10, 11, 12, which should be good. Okay. Yeah, 12, 12 minus 8 should get us what we need to not be in the black. Right, we'll at least be alive. We'll be alive. And, <laughs> and we've got power. We, we're good on power. <laughs> okay, well, that's good. All right, so I can't tell you how to run this game. It looks awesome. Thanks, Rory. Thanks for joining the stream. Yeah, thanks a lot. All right, so I think that's it. So let's see what happens. Okay, well, let's uh, let's add it up. All right, so power um, first. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so um, power that's six plus okay. um, six twelve plus six eighteen. Okay, we we crushed it on power. Yeah, we're doing fine there. <laughs> All right, so uh, All cl right. climate is um, six. Plus four, ten, twelve. So uh, that'll put us at four, just just barely out. Okay. All right. What you got? Nutrition. All right. Nutrition. We got six plus eight, so fourteen. Okay. How are we looking there? Looking good. Very good. Okay. Good, good. And then uh, climate, or sorry, oxygen, we got six and six and five. So we got 17, puts us at 12. Okay. So it looks like, um, so I have a 12 in oxygen and you got a 13 in power. So you crushed it on that. I got a four in climate and a 14 in nutrition. All right, so we did really good, except for climate. <laughs> yeah, I got I to gotta get better at that one. So that pushes it as a four capacity, correct? That's right, yeah. Okay. All right, yeah, so we made four capacity. But, you know, on the upside here, we did unlock tier two. Yeah. So you can grab your tier two tiles. Those should be on the, the top stack there. Okay. To the side. You can just kind of spread those out. Okay, so there's just three of them, correct? There should be four uh, in there. So one missing. Let's see. This is tier. Oh, wait. That's, oh, I see what I did wrong. Never mind. Uh, they're stacked this way. Oh, yeah. There you go. Two, three, and four. OK. So let's take a look at them real quick. We've got the albedo supply system. May increase all lowest dice by one, plus seven to power. Nice. <laughs> uh, we've got the nitrogen tank assembly. Gain a new die equals to the number of your dice roll times two. Right. Uh, so you, you 
Put a three on there, you get a six. And it makes nine climate, so that's pretty hot. Okay. Uh, we've got the uh, radius, radioisotope uh, generator. Yeah, by the way, you do, do you need a, a, a master's degree in order to pronounce any of these tiles? <laughs> <laughs> uh, may change any existing die by plus one, minus one. Okay, so that gives you power plus how much you put on there per die. Right. That's so a you pretty... could make up to 10 on yeah. that one. And that one's really good for the toxic leak disaster because you can manipulate existing dice. So if you have one that is causing you trouble, you can, you can... You can move it out. Nice. And then the active thermal control, which uh, may change any existing die by plus one, minus one for plus five climate. Yeah, so another, oh. another good one there. Yeah. Nice. Okay, so we got some, some good options there. Uh, let's see, I got my tiles out here. Um, all right, so, yeah, so now it's time to flip over this disaster card. Okay. Let's see what kind of naughtiness we're dealing with here. Okay, so I can get rid of that now. That's no longer disabled. What do we oh. got? Okay, muscle spasms. Okay, yeah. So now, see, it's really ramping up here. So toxic dice are going to be three, five, and six. And each player needs to disable a tile. Oof. Oh, man. Okay. So, yeah, not, not super great, but, you know, <laughs> like I said, things are, things are starting to ramp up for us. All right. And we're going to disable a tile. Huh. Well, I can't. It can't be anything food, and I crushed it in power. So power transfer unit might be the thing that needs to go. Because this is what six doubles, and that's six doubles. So they're a little bit of the same. So. Ooh. Oh, oh yeah. I, so I, if you want to disable it, uh, let's see. Here's a token right there. Oh, thank Just you. Just drop that on the on the tile you want to disable. Okay. All right. Okay. All right, so now we are um, hurting a little bit money-wise, capacity-wise. Yeah. I can uh, use my my other. So you you have in a two-player game, even though you're only the one astronaut, you do have two career tiles. Um, huh. So you do have access to the other one over here. So my other one, I can disable one of my tiles in order to give you two capacity. So I can do that. I can disable this guy over here because I'm fine on nutrition. Okay. And, and that will give you another two, which then you can either buy a tile or more dice as you see fit. And I assume that uh, more dice is the way to go. Probably, especially given that, you know, we have a, we have a lot of yep. a lot of dice we got to deal with here with the Toxic League. Yep, so that will give me um, four dice. And I'll spend it to get that. Thank you, my good sir. And it looks like my one is mission specialist. Once per buy phase, you may destroy a tile in your available offer row in order to give another player two capacity. So the offer row, I assume, is the buy the buy area. Yep, exactly. So not one you haven't unlocked yet, but okay. any of the unlocked tiles, you could you could just get rid of one entirely to give another player two. Okay. So do you? I, I think I can, I can get rid of the hydrogen fuel cell if that and that should give you um, two. Yeah, that would that give me enough to, to buy yeah. dice as well. Yep. Yeah. Go for it. Is there, great. is there a destroy token that we place on here or just move it? Uh, no, usually you just kind of put it on the side. You know? Okay. Yeah. All right. Cool. All right. Thank you very much. That's fantastic. All right. And I've reset everything. We moved up phase. Okay. All right. Cool. All right. Well, then I think we're ready for the next round. So remember, it's three, five, and six. They're okay. all problematic for us. All right. Here we go. <laughs> I want rolled one three. So let's see what we could do about that. I rolled a three, five, and a six. Wow, <laughs> I'm doing really good. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Um, uh, you know, I can make it work. It's okay. We'll figure something out. My problem is I need to get that thermoelectric generator, so I need to put something that'll get me there. 
Um, I could put this one to get a die. It would give me a two. This would get me a six if I did this. So I do this. I get a two. Not a three. A two. There we go. And then I could do the two doubles here for power. Which would give me a drain uh, of a dice plus or minus two. So if I do minus two, I would get a six. Hooray. <laughs> okay. <laughs> then if I do this... Ah, uh, this is the worst. <laughs> uh, let me see. I can put the six up here to make sure I get food. May change a die currently down by two. Okay, sweet. I almost had the double. Um, but down by two would make this a four. That four will go over here to give me a new dice roll. Please don't punish me. Oh my gosh, I got two threes. Oh no. Uh... All right, I can, I mean, so you, well, what do you need? Do you need anything particular, like number yeah, wise? Yeah, I need food. And I was looking for, I was looking for, um, I need a four. Okay. Two four, I need two fours. <laughs> Basically. Oh, well, I need a four for this food one and then a, a whatever number on the other one. It could be a one, okay. it doesn't matter. Perfect. So uh, we haven't used any of these docking modules yet. Right. And I'm done. I actually was able to work out my stuff. So if you want to share both your threes. So the nice thing is everywhere you place a toxic dice, you have to get rid of, get rid of another one with the exception of docking modules. Docking modules are safe. Okay. So you can place your threes here and here, and then I can give them back to you, at, or yeah, whatever your, your numbers are. Oh, I, I see, I see. Oh, I don't know why this went to a five. Um, three. You should, I did something weird. Yeah, it's, like I said, sometimes tabletop, you just kind of forgets what the dice are there. Okay, so I'll put the three and three here. And so if you make it a four and a one, that's, or four and a two, that's fine. Yeah, and both of those are fine. So there you go. There's a two, okay. and there's a four. Perfect. Teamwork makes the dream work. So I'm gonna put <laughs> I'm gonna exactly. put a two a two here and a four here, and that gets me what I need. Yeah. Now that two gives you a dice back. A right? two. It does. Uh, which you could set to a one, so it's not toxic. Right. And then now, so any extra dice, this is our first time. Oh, so we got, I guess we got some options here. We could start the mission. That seems a little risky right now. <laughs> you know. uh, I don't know if we want to do that, but it's an option. Um, in terms of, in terms of power, let me see. So power is at what, a minus five? Uh, power is at, yeah, minus five. And I'll be giving 12 to it. No, nope. Yeah, <laughs> I don't think we want to do that. So the other option for extra dice is the center spot here. It's called the habitation module. Okay. And how that works is for each dice you place in it, it's going to add one, but they all need to go to the same resource. So like if there's three dice in there, we could add three to any one resource. Okay. So, and we, and we can decide that after we count everything up. So we can okay. see whatever is the lowest and then, right. and then try and boost it a little bit. Okay. Okay, not bad. Okay, so you said you made 12 power, is that right? Uh, yes. All right, so 12, that puts us at 7. It's not bad. All right, climate, how, how are we looking? Uh, climate, we're looking at um, 6. Uh, this is plus 6, so 12. Um, 12, 16, 17, 18, 18. So that'll knock us down, that gives us 10. Wow, there you go. Crushed it. Nicely <laughs> done. All right. Oh, wait, now that's six here you placed, because six is a toxic number. Uh, um, no, it was, uh, was it six as well? 
I thought it was yeah. Let me check. Three, five, and six. Oh no. Okay. Um, but that's okay. What we can do is we'll just we'll just lose, discard lose this that one. Here. Okay. Okay. But you one. had an extra one anyhow. So that and keep it there as a discarded. Oh, gotcha. Some of these cards count up how many discarded dice we have. Gotcha. Okay. So okay. so so we're at six. Um, plus six, twelve, plus four, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Okay. Uh, for for that, which eighteen minus ten, eighteen minus eight is ten. Perfect. Uh, good catch. Right. I completely bought that one. Uh, no worries, no worries. Okay, so uh, nutrition. We're looking at eight plus six, so that's fourteen. Minus three puts us at eleven. Yep. And then oxygen, we got 12, 17, minus 5 puts us at 12. Okay. So then our lowest is power at 7. Yep. So that's not bad. We made 7. All right. All right. Does, the, so. does the disabled tab stay disabled for the rest of the game too because of the climb no. that happened? So yeah, so that's just disabled are just one round. Okay, okay. So this tile is back in business. Okay. It's like you're making it you're making it hard. I see. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's that. So now let's let's go for the next disaster card. See how we're doing. Okay. Okay. Oh, our eyes are starting to water. Okay. <laughs> so the toxic dice this round are gonna be one, four, and five. All right. uh, and then we need to destroy a number of tiles depending on the number of discarded dice. So we had one discarded dice this past round, so we need to destroy two tiles. Those can be any tiles we want. We just need to pick two and get them out. So I can do one. For and I'll, sure. Yeah, and I'll do one. Um, okay. I can do the power one that I put on there. It's sad, but it it works. I'll get rid of the power transfer unit. Okay. Now the, now, the sad thing about when you destroy, destroy a tile, you don't get the drain back. So. Oh, I see what you mean. It just stays. It's just, okay. Yeah. But that's okay. The good news is we have seven capacity, so you, know, you might be able to buy something, a new power tile that produces even more. Yep. Uh, this would be an oxygen drain may increase all, all lowest dice by one. Hmm. Ooh, this is an interesting one. This is playing the game of, of food drain and all that other stuff is, is interesting. Yeah. Um, I think I might be able to do that. Or how are you looking in terms of nutrition? Because I could get the uh, radioisotype uh, generator that uh -huh. will give me power plus the number of dice I put on there for each die. Okay. Yeah, so, so that's pretty good. But it'll be a minus um, two on on nutrition. On nutrition, that's fine, especially if if you're okay. I'll buy one that that hits power, and we'll kind of counterbalance each other. Okay. Yep, that'll work. All right. So and I'll buy that. Cost six. Cost me full seven. One left. Add two to the power grade. And I add, I have to add two to nutrition. Let me see if I can get this right. There it is. Okay. Right, perfect. Okay. So, and then I, all right. So let's see what, what's the numbers? We can't do a one, four, or five. Okay. So starting the mission this round is going to be hard because we need to place a one on the mission card in order to start it. Yeah. However, we got to start at some point. Yeah. We got three of them to do. And, you know, <laughs> we it's only going to get worse. <laughs> we're running out. We're running out of disaster cards. Exactly. Okay. How many disaster cards are part of a scenario? Yeah. So there are two green level, three yellow level, three orange level, and then three red level. Okay. But like I like I mentioned before, once you get to red. It's it's just gonna 
mess you up. Okay. All right. <laughs> you and your entire family. So <laughs> we don't want that to happen. <laughs> Noted. All right. <laughs> okay. So. Oh, I need. Oh, what am I doing? I need. This was a. This had a four on it. This had a three. On it. Okay. Okay. So I don't know. So we can... oh, okay. Okay. All right. Well, you ready? Let's do it. Okay. Uh, and let me make sure the numbers. Uh, one, four, and five, and I've got two fives and a four. Fabulous. <laughs> uh, so let's see what I can do to decrease numbers here. You may change die currently at. Two by negative one. I could gain a new die here. Ooh. Yeah, I, I rolled three fours. Oh, here we go. This one will work. I could change, I could put one here, which it says you may change a die currently at five by minus one or plus one. So plus one will push this five to a six. Wow. Yeah. Okay. And this one says you may change any existing die. Okay, so I can put a six here. Well, nope, can't. Uh, gain a die plus minus two. That's not per. That's for both. Um, gain a new die. Plus minus one. Two. And I can make this a three. Power might be in a bad state. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to make it work. I'm trying to make it work. So a three can go here to get me a brand new die to roll. It's another three. Um, you may change any existing die. OK, OK, OK. So I could put this one here, change this four to a three. Ooh. Hmm. Change. Change a die currently at two by plus one. I don't have any dice at two. If I place it um, here, if I place it here, I can make this five a six, but I need that double. I can I can get you a six. A six I'm is what I need. I'm on two fives right now. Yeah, a six, a six is what I need for sure. I'll change this to a six. All right. Yeah, so here, let me put this here. Give okay. you a six. Okay. And then if you could get me back a uh, three would be super ideal. Okay, and then I don't know if or I can not, give a three. I can give you a a two, not a three. I um because this says gain a new die plus or minus uh plus or minus two of a six, which okay. means five and fours are bad. Actually, it, no, well, you that's can make not a... true. That's right. That's right. That's right. Uh, so I can get you a three. So okay. I'll make awesome. this. I make this this number. Put it over here and get you a three. Awesome! Look at that. Perfect. And if you can, uh, do you need? Do you need both or? Let's see. No. So I have. Let me pull you, this one here. Yeah. Okay. So I have a five and a six. Five's not helpful, but if you need to discard a dice, I have a five. Otherwise, I have a six that I can give you. 
Um, what or what do you need? A, a three to six. So so okay, yeah, basically six. a three or a six. <laughs> right. <laughs> there's there's a six that I very conveniently had. Uh, but that's not going to give me back a die. I think that's all I got. Does that leave you in a bad way? No, that's that's fine. Okay. All right. So I have an extra five. Uh, I don't. I only have the one, so I can't place it because I don't have anything to discard. So it just it just goes away. Okay. So that's that's fine. All right. I've covered. Okay. All right. I think everything should be good in terms of power and 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 climate. Yeah. Well done. Well done. That was that was a that was a tricky term, but you <laughs> did it. So I'm impressed. Okay. Let's count it up. So power. How do you do? Uh, power. We got. Um, let's see. Same number. So six. Uh, twelve. Um, 18. 18, perfect. This is at 11. Okay. Uh, climate? Climate is 6, 12, um, 16, 17, 18. So that puts us at 10. Yep. Okay, great. Nutrition? Uh, all right. Nutrition, we have... 5, 11, 19. 19 minus 5, 14. Okay. All right. Yeah, so nutrition, which actually we should take note that nutrition, we would be able to start this without without too much damage. And power, I think we could handle it too. So maybe next round, if we can. Let's, yep, let's do it. Let's, let's get that rolling. Okay. okay, and then oxygen, I've got 6, 10, 16. Yeah, so 11. Okay, great. So what is your lowest? Uh, lowest is 10 on my end. All right. I have two 11s, so 10 is our lowest. So we made 10. That was so a good I, round. All right. So I got 11 because I had a plus one left over. Um, if we're going okay. for, if we're going for that objective, I'm probably going to upgrade my dice. Okay. Um, so that I could roll five. So that that's a cost of, uh, Actually, before you do that, let's flip over a card just to see if it does anything terrible uh, to us. Fair enough. Okay. So here we go. All right, so toxic dice next round. Oh, I'll mean one, two, and four, so hitting one again, but we'll do what we can do. And then we're going to add to the auction drain depending on the number of discarded dice. Well, thankfully, we did not discard any dice, so we're going to add three to the oxygen drain. Okay. That's that's okay. We can work, make that work. I think you're you're at where climate is now, then. Yeah, I'm at negative eight on oxygen. Yep. But I mean, so. That means, assuming I do the same thing last round, we can still make eight oxygen, which is which is fine. Yep, I think so. Yep, I think with nutrition uh, minus six, we'll still be good. Yeah, I think I, I'll pump. I'll still pump up the dice. Um, yeah, because... I'm gonna do the same thing because one is still a toxic number, so we're gonna basically need to get rid of two dice in order to start it. Yep, and that is eight. So that takes it down to two. Nope, three. Yeah, because you had one left over. Yeah. All right, so I'll be rolling an extra die now. Okay. Uh, I'm enjoying this a lot. I think this game is a lot of fun. Um, there is a cool. lot. I mean, you're there... doing you're doing fantastic. <laughs> if, if I didn't know better, I'd, I'd say you played this before. <laughs> no. Uh, Tabletopia is being kind. This RNG is being kind to me. <laughs> No, I mean, you know, I watched how you puzzled through some of that. That was, that was well played. All right, so we're going to be rolling five dice this time. And chat, if you're on, you know, as you're watching in the chat, if if let us know what you think of the game. Um, if you're enjoying what you're seeing, you know, talk to us. Let us see. Uh, let us know what you like. Yeah, you know, like like we mentioned up top, this is this is still in development. So if you think it's terrible, I won't be that offended. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's I might cry a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the same thing I said to Stephen uh, the other day. I was like, uh, you know, he did something really kind for me, and I was like, I'm not crying. You're crying. Whatever. <laughs> 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 All right. So okay. So Ready to roll? Okay, so remember, toxic dice this round are one, two, and four. 
Gotcha. All right, let's go. All right, here we go. One and two, well, three of them are bad. Uh, so, but let's see what <laughs> we, can, we can do. So let's recover. Uh, actually, we can do the doubles. If I do the doubles, I'll get one, get a new die that is a three, which then I could get a new die. Let's see. This is risky. <laughs> so I'll get a three from that. And this three I'll put over here. Then you die. It's a five. Cool. And you said the numbers are one, two, and four? Yes. Okay, so then I can get this. Let me have a six. This to put me in a five. Put this five over here now. Is this the one? Yep. Do plus or minus to change it this to a five. Do the same thing again here. Change this to a five. Put it up here. Let me change it back currently at two by one. Okay. Hmm. Okay, let's chat. Yeah, so how's it going over there? Um, let me just tally up the heat to see if I do this. It would make it 11, 12, 13, minus 8. So we should be good there. Yeah, I'll put us at 5. So we should be good there. Um, that'll do us fine. We're okay. We're okay. okay. Um, we won't get the high numbers like we did last time, but we're not going to be in the red or orange. Okay. And yeah, I don't think I'm doing as good last this time any, either. So, do you need that's anything? Fun. Do you need anything? I have a one. Um. It, yes. Let's see. Let's see. I need. What I really need is a three. You don't have any way to manipulate it at this point, do you? No. Um. I can make it a two or a six. Um. Yeah. No, I think that's fine. I so I have two ones left over right now. Do you need anything? Um No. I mean, I would be it it, it would be towards buy power if anything if you give me a 2, it would be towards mm -hmm. it would be towards pushing climate up from being a 5 to being a 9 for buy power. For Actually, capacity. if you don't mind, could you give me that six? That's sure. going to give us more nutrition, which we probably need, because I have the two ones. I'm going to go ahead and start the mission. Sure, go for it. Okay, so I'm going to do that. Swap this guy out. So I actually have three ones left over now. So I'm going to do that. Discard this one. And then I could get you a... See this, you need this one here. You need awesome. a well. I guess a two is not going to help you at all. Uh, it'll uh, it'll give us it'll give us more capacity power. That's what it would well, do. But a two is a two is a toxic number. So oh, that's right. Dice to... Yeah, yeah. So, so so it's just gonna it's just gonna go away. Okay. Sadly, but that's okay. All right, so we're starting the mission. Let's hope we don't die. <laughs> Here we go. 
<laughs> all right, so all right. let's talk about power. Um, power is uh, six. Um, actually, this is pretty good. So it's 16. 16 and 6, 21. Wow. 21. That puts yeah. Us, yeah, we got 14 power. So that's great. Then minus 6, because we're taking that right off the top. Yeah. So that puts us at, at 8. Awesome. That's great. That's very good. Okay. Okay. Uh, climate, we've got um, 6 plus 5, 11, 12, 13. So 13 minus 8 would put us at what, 5? Yeah, my math is not too horrible. <laughs> no, it's spot on. And that got us there. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That's all we need, right? Nutrition. Okay. Nutrition, we got 6, 14, 21. And six. then we're going to minus 6. Minus, so well, my, minus 11, I guess, if you want to do that off of that 21. So it's. Sure. So it puts it at 10. 10. Yep. Okay. Oxygen's not going to be as great because oxygen was having a bad day. Uh, it's just flat 12 minus 8 puts us at 4. So we barely right. made it. <laughs> but hey, we made it. So, you know, I'm not complaining. Oh my gosh, we barely made it. We're alive. <laughs> right, okay, so now we start this mission. Uh, so this card slides over. Now we can see the next mission that we need to work on, which is firing up the welding torch. So we don't need to do that right away, but at some point we're going to want to do that. Now notice that's minus 10 off of climate. So that's an even bigger hit. Okay. So. All right, so climate's the focus. Well, in terms of our money, what do we have as our lowest? Is our oh, lowest so our, four? Our lowest is four. Yeah. So I'm going to seven. Let's see if I could buy something for climate. That's seven. All right. Oh, also, we do unlock tier three at this point. Oh, woohoo. Okay. So that's that's good news there. Yeah, that's that ain't anything bad. Tier threes are, are starting to look pretty sexy, actually, if I do say so myself. <laughs> so let's see what we're dealing with. Uh, hopefully, I have enough buy power to buy um, something for climate because I'm seeing some good things. So let's take a look, uh, folks, and see what we got. So we've got a uh, constrained vapor bubble. Which is a doubles, doubles of fives or sixes only. Gain a new die that's plus or minus three of what I put there. And I get uh, my heat is the die that I put on there plus six. That is awesome. Yeah. I mean, you can generate a ton of climate there. Uh, we got the reaction control module, which may change a die currently at three by uh, plus one. So we get the same thing, but it's plus five and it's not dealing with doubles. We just right, have to, so, so that's nice. Uh, orbital propellant the depot may decrease all highest dice by one. I'm not mad at that. <laughs> um, and then we got another double plus 11 power. Ooh. All right, so the only thing that isn't at eight is food. So, oh, I can't even afford that anyway. <laughs> Let's take a look at tier ones. Well, now, I, I mean, so I can use my ability here. But, Let's see, yeah, I definitely have a tile I can disable. That's no problem at all. Um, uh, yeah, because we need to do 10, so I got to come with it on, on, on this. So, yeah, so let me disable one. I'll give you two capacity. Okay, so that'll put me at nine. And we got to knock down food. So this is the one. The reaction control module is what I'll get. I don't like it. Its ability is not as grand, um, but just in case I roll a three, it might be worth it. So I'll buy that. Actually, wait, before you do that, let's, let's still throw this card just oh, to that's make right. sure. That's right. Right. that's right. That's right. Okay. So we got coughing fits. Okay. So we got toxic dice of one, four, and six. So and only then each player needs to disable their most expensive tile. So whatever I buy, it's going to be disabled. Well, no. So it's it's going to be this card's going to happen before you buy anything. Oh, okay, basically. okay, okay. All right. Um. Yeah. So that yeah, that's good news. Now, one other thing about this card, you see how it has dice slots at the bottom, the disaster card. Yep. So this card is a persistent disaster card. We're going to keep having these coughing fits 
until someone places a four on this card. And on three to four players, you need to play t- place two fours on there. That's right. But That's fours right. are but fours are bad. Yes. <laughs> you see what we did there. <laughs> <laughs> I understand your cruelty, and I I approve. <laughs> I approve. Uh, all right. Okay. So let me let me get these dice off, and then I'll disable my most expensive one, which should be this one's a five, and this one is a six. So this one is disabled. Um, disable tile. Oh, you want this one here? Sorry, that's a that's a little Brazil token there. You got. Oh, gotcha. Thanks. Yeah, it's right there. Yeah. So this one's disabled. Is it just one slot or or the entire modules? The disabled? entire tile. Yeah. Okay. All right, and then I'll buy this guy, and we will tick this up by two, which puts it at seven. So um, while we're while we're resetting up here and getting ready, let's just kind of for the people viewing who may wonder um, the boards that are going to be coming that has the spinners on them. Um, due to the Kickstarter sets, are they going to what type of material are they going to be made of? Or like is yeah, it just so straight? The, go ahead. The big resource board you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, so they're actually really well designed. So I have a a UI guy who's out of Germany. His name's Heiko Gunther. And he came up with this whole idea for this, this spinning wheel that you, know, you can calculate the drain and, and how much resources you make at the same time. But you're right. They absolutely need to be of high quality. So they're all um, nice cardstock, like two millimeter cardstock, and they're all dual layer. So, you know, you don't quite get the effect here on Tabletopia, but basically you have a mat on top with holes punched into it and then the wheel on the bottom. And so... Uh, where you stick the cube is actually like an inset into the board, so they don't they don't won't jiggle around if you bump the table or anything. So they're okay. they're pretty cool designs. Okay, All right. very cool. Right. I'm gonna spin for a second. I'll be right back. My it's getting darker here, so <laughs> the lighting oh, yeah. goes off sometimes. Yeah. We'll we'll work it out. We'll work it out. Okay. All right. So All right. we're ready to go. Well, so I need, so unfortunately, because of that disaster, I'm a little worried about my nutrition right now, um, because it just took out my my favorite little nutrition tile. Okay, so Um, do you need some, you need some resources that can give you three capacity? Yeah, if you have, if you have any that you could transfer to me. I definitely can. I will get rid of this, and you get three capacity. All right, thank you very much. And then, okay, what would be safer for me to drain? Um, ooh. <laughs> Everything is pretty much in a in a nasty state. Um, I think it's <laughs> I think it's a it's a it's a crapshoot of how you want to do it. Um I gotta worry about heat for the objective if that's something that we're able to do. So I wouldn't do climate just yet. Um I mean, how's your how's your power doing? Because it was power's the one you just disabled, right? Yeah, so I'm probably barely gonna make power. Um, the best I can do for power is 12. Okay, which will put us at, I mean, it's at minus 7 for power, so that'll put us at Actually, 5. Actually, but then minus 6 for the blood, sweat, and tears. So, oh, so we might be in trouble. <laughs> I think we might be. So, um, let's see. Can I? Is the ability, the medical officer ability that I can do, can I only do it once per turn? Oh, yeah, once per buy phase. Yeah. Um, once per buy phase, you may destroy a tile in your available offer row to gain, give another player two. So, uh, oh, I didn't take this down, did I? I bought it for, I bought this one for nine. That puts me zero. Hmm. Maybe we could do... Yeah, the thing about these mission cards is once you start them, you're committed. It's yeah. going to happen whether we want it to or not. Okay. Hmm, then I wonder if I could rescind, because of the blowout, rescind the, the um, 
heat by because we have we can't really do this right now. Mm -hmm. Um, so if I could rescind that cost to get a power card. Yeah, do it. I think that's a good idea. And then you could boost power, uh, but it's still going to be the same thing for food. So it has to match. It has to match the like. So we'll do that. So I'll, I'll switch this one out for this one. It's this. I'll just get one back. One capacity back. Okay. And now you okay. So that should get our power back to a decent place. Um, it'll be the number of dice. I can't roll. So I can if I put a five. Want, it would be eight. So I would get eight for that. Okay. Uh, I, think, I think that'll be good. 20. So I get 20 total if I fill those out. Um, so then that's minus six. So that would put us at uh, 14. So how much are you looking at raising them up to? 14 minus, uh, 14 minus eight would put us at six. Mm -hmm. So how much lower? So you would I would be you would deal be dealing with six six um power. And okay. You, yeah. Yeah. So so is it is it better then for me to drain climate? No. <laughs> I actually, <laughs> uh, climate. Let me see. Let me see. Climate. I could do six. Um. 5, so that's 11, 12, 13, uh, 17, so 17 minus 8, 9, so we'd be dealing with 9. Okay, so I mean that sounds a little safer maybe? Yep, yep, that does. So let's, let's go ahead and do that, that's fine. Alright, so yeah, so go ahead and add 2 to the climate drain. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and your new tile added two to the nutrition drain, right? Did you already add that? Yeah, I did. I added that. Okay. All right. So then we're good to go. Okay. All right. We're going to be okay. We're going to be okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let's do our best. We're not to die. <laughs> yes, Steven. The components on this game are beautiful. Like, I'm really enjoying this challenge. And I rolled a bunch of sexes. Sweet. <laughs> Oh, good. <laughs> you know, my my dad, my bad dice rolls would come in so much handy right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's see, what can we do? Oh yeah, I got a bunch of sixes too. Oh boy, oh boy. So it's one, four, and six are bad. Um, if I put a three on here, I get a new die, but I need to start doing some decreasing. I could put a three on here to make it a five, which, okay, let's do that. Uh. A three on here to get a five. A four, sorry, not a five. Nope, that is not what I asked you to give me. <laughs> okay. Then a four on here to say, I mean, change a five die down by one. I'll make this a four. Four on here to decrease to increase or decrease this. So I'll make it a one. A f sorry, a five. Or five's bad? Nope. Five. Yeah, five would be good. Um now let's see. Uh so fours are bad. I don't know oh shoot, on that. I was not. I I think I was thinking fives were bad, that's why. Yeah, it's one, four, six is what we got. All right, so I put a three here. The three would give me a two then, not a four. The two would then give me a three, not a four. Though, if possible, um, 
we do we do need to put a four on this disaster card if at all possible yeah yeah um so i put a three here which means a five can get spent up or down nope that is bad news bears i'm gonna put the three here and get a new die two fives fantabulous okay so yeah, pretty good why did it change to a one <laughs> so the magic of tabletopia <laughs> it's like did you mean one <laughs> no you know they're just like oh your luck's too good we'll fix that <laughs> so two fives here will get me a is minus two so this would could get me a two six or no a one or a four three so get a three um you may change the die currently at two by one which i don't have decrease all that all of your highest dice by one yes please so put this here, and these two become fives. That's pretty good. So you got to pat the brow and be like, whew, okay, so um, then I could put the five here and the five here. So, oh, wait, what do I get? Oh, nothing happens there. I'm not messing with that. And the five goes here. Okay, I'm good. <laughs> okay, now I don't have a four. Oh no! Um, At all. all right, so let me rethink then. So I can make. Uh, I, we don't have to do that. It's just this card will trigger again if we don't. Yeah, so it could be it could be like twos and threes are bad, and then things are worse. Right. Um, I can. I only have one four. Actually, how many dice do you have left? You might be because I got two fives. Um, if you could, let's see. I, so I have, I have four dice left. Ideally, I need, so I really need to use this card, this tile here, that I need a, uh, doubles, three, two, six. Right now I have two sixes, which means I have to burn the other two to get it on there, which is obviously not ideal. So if you, I can give you these two fives so you can get your double. The only thing I'm thinking of, though, which would be the two side halves. The only thing I'm thinking of though is I need I would need you to I would need a five, a two, or a three. Let's see, I think twos are no yeah, twos are fine. Okay, yeah. yeah. So I can give you a two or a three. Um, but we we still need a four. Yeah. The trick. Yeah, I can get you your double, so I can help with that. I just don't know what else. I can make a five, a four, but that would mean you don't get your double. Right. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. If you, what, what abilities do you have left? Can you manipulate one by one? Um, I can manipulate, may change a die current at five plus one minus one, and okay. may change the current die currently at two to plus one minus one. Okay, so here's the thing. Okay, so I think, why don't you, I'm mapping this out here. Give me those two fives. Okay. And then I will do this, which will keep us fed. And then I will give you back this six as a five. Okay. Oops. And then I will give you this two as a three, if that's helpful. I don't know if it is. Or um, a two, whatever. I would need it as a three. Okay. And then that gets me what I need. I could put I could put the five here and I could put the uh actually sorry I could put the three here and then I could put the five up here and then I'm good. Yep. That gets me that. Okay. 
But that still doesn't give us a four. Nope. <laughs> so, I mean, could you use that ability? Which one? The one that you can increase a five. Yeah. Increase or decrease a five and turn it into a four. I could turn it into a four, but... But then you don't have another dice to, to use. Unfortunately, I still have two dice, but we're out of dice slots. So, I'm not sure. Yeah, what, and that, I, I think if I don't do this heat one, we're probably going to be in a bad way. All right, let's just let's let's do what we can <laughs> and see see what the next the next card might be like. You know, don't worry about that. Everything's fine. <laughs> Everything's fine. Yeah. Yeah, we have cards like that. <laughs> oh, no. Do nothing this All round. Right. <laughs> All right. All right. I'm going to go ahead and stick the six here and get rid of this one. Okay. Uh, it's unfortunately not a four, but I don't see any way we're going to get a four out of that. So, actually, I'm going to actually I'm not. I'm going to go back. I'm going to use my ability here. Oh, get over here. Swap this guy out. Sorry, I was puzzling my last few moments here. And then I'm going to stick one in here. Okay. Get rid of. That. Okay, there we go. Okay. Okay. So now let's count it up. All right, so power is um, six. This one is 12. And um, six, so 18. 18 minus 10 is eight. Oh, wait. Yep, eight. Oh, so, so you had 18. Oh, I was at t minus six. Sorry. It's 18 minus six, so it's 12. Well, so, minus seven, and then so, so puts us at five. Yep. Okay, that's fine. Okay, climate, how are we doing? Uh, climate, we've got six, 11, uh, 15, 16, 17, minus 10 puts us at seven. Okay. All right. Nutrition. All right. Nutrition, I've got. Six plus eight plus so uh, twenty. So a total of twenty. Nice. So thirteen. All right, and minus the six here for this guy. Uh, okay, so that is seven. Okay. All right. Let me take this up. Let's go three. All right. So we only have to do that mission one more time. Okay, which, that's good. Um. Okay, and then oxygen. I've got. 12 plus 5, so I got 17. All right, minus 8 puts us at 9. So we're great for oxygen. Okay. Whew. <laughs> we made it, right. however, that, that card is going to haunt us. It is. It's true. All <laughs> right, so now we do have one in the middle. Okay. So our lowest right now is, I think, power at 5. Do you have anything lower than 5? No, I don't. All right, so I'm going to move that up. And so now we made 6 capacity. Okay. All right, so that puts me at seven. All right, so we're just going to slide this card over here because it's it's not going away yet. Yeah. But we got a new one as well. Oh, it's also persistent. Oh, that's wonderful. Sweet. Destroy two right. oxygen tiles. One for one to two player. Each player disables a tier two tile, and we need to put a four through six on it. So five can shut that down. Okay. But the good news is, this card doesn't have any toxic dice on it. And, you know, that's the good news. The yeah. bad news is, we, we still, still have toxic dice in general. <laughs> yeah, and we didn't make it worse, but it didn't get better. <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right, so I need to disable the tier two tile. Um, I'm going to probably keep the same one I have disabled disabled. Um, because we were able to make the power needs that we needed during last round. Okay. And we we held on to a string by a string to this one. Um, All right. All right. Let me see, I need ten to be able to get my six die. Um I think I might be doing that like kicking my ability to get two more. Uh, one, you may destroy a tile in order to offer... Oh, to give another player two capacity, so you would have to do it for me. But I don't yeah, know if there's I, can, I can give you two capacity by disabling a tile. Um, I need... 
10, I'm at 7, so I would need the 3. Let me see about this one. Yeah, I think I'm the only one that can give 3. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, that's a special, special building. Um... I think we are where we are. It's just more trying to find a way to get to that last set of dice. Are you able to burn... Are you able to use both your abilities, or you can only use one per? You can use both, yes. Oh, that's increasing drain. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I can get you to 10, I believe, because I can give you 5, so you can get an extra die. Okay. Um, uh, well, the trick is... So, so this... Uh, the coffin fits... It's gonna each player disables their most expensive tile. So now I have to move my disable from uh, my level, my tier two to my tier three because it's now more expensive. Oh, oh, then we're in a pro. Then we got. I I didn't realize that. So even the coughing fits of disabling a tile is still active. Oh yeah. Okay, so, so we got we got that, and we have to disable a tier two. <laughs> okay. Um. Mm, that's not good. I was able to get us to seven food. I need that ability. This one's a plus four that I need. So I would need six, 11, 12, 13, minus 10 would put us at three. I can make it happen. I can, uh, each player disables a tile that they have. Uh, which one is the disable tile piece? Oh, it's uh, this one right here. Oh, it's because it's behind. Okay, I didn't see. Oh, yeah. All right. So uh, basically, I'm disabling two things now. Right. All right. This is going to be a close one, but I think we can do it. <laughs> Are you buying anything new? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, do I... you need do you need to replace anything? Um anything you, you said... worry about or you think we're okay? No, I mean like I, I can get us I, I can get climate to make sense for one round because it would be eleven, twelve, thirteen. 13 minus 10 would put us at 3, so we'll be in the orange, but it'll be our first orange. Okay. Uh, but that's... Uh, but all in, all in the act to get rid of these, di these cards that are causing yeah. us problems. Which, yeah, I agree. We definitely want to do. Okay. So, I'm good. Oh. Alright. I need to reset these. Okie dokie. Now, I'm going to tell you this, you're probably not going to believe me, but uh, you see on the resource wheel, you have these, some of the numbers are, are colored a little differently. Yeah. Like on the climate, you have 18, 22, 27, 34, and 40 that are in the climate color. Yeah. If you can get your any one resource up to that number, you, you kick in a bonus. What's and the bonus? I know, that's, I know that sounds impossible, but it is, it is, <laughs> it is actually possible. What's the um, bonus? So the bonus is you can rotate a mission card die one time for every bonus you unlock. So, so get it done faster. Right, right, exactly. So, you know, if you think about it, it's, it's normally three rounds. If you can get it into a bonus situation, you can get it down to two rounds, or, you know, get, you hit that twice, you can get down to a single round. So it's, it's something that's possible. You really have to kind of focus on it in order for it to happen. But it definitely is doable. Okay, all right, we can we can do it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm just saying, there's hope for us. We only really got one mission card done. We're not totally lost. <laughs> all right, you ready? Yeah, let's do it. All right, all right. And what are the bad numbers? Uh, one, four, and six. All right. Uh, that's correct. Yep. Okay, I'm doing a little bit better. Uh, let's see here.
Okay, if I do a double here, it'll give me plus two, so it'll give me a fiver. Five here. Four is bad. Um, but I can make the six of five. Five here. Make the six of five. I'm earmarking that five to get rid of that card. Um, I put another five there. Let's see. I can put a five here to gain a new die that is a one. One or a three. Threes aren't bad. Oh wait. Is this nope, sorry. A one a six or a four, which are both bad. Right. Got two fours. Alright, so what do you have left? Uh, so I, I was able to put a four on the coughing fits uh, by burning a six. And I have a six left, but what I really need is some doubles. Otherwise, I think we're going to starve to death. All right, so let's see. What's this one here? That's what, the one I had to discard in order to put the four on the coffin. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. I can give you the two fours. See, these things don't give dice. That's the bad part. So I can I can I can give you the six as a five. Um and then let's see. So you can't manipulate your fours at all, right? No. I can't. I can give you the two <laughs> this is a bad thing, I can give you the two fours. <laughs> well, uh, actually, here's what I'm thinking. If I give you this, or you have a five, right? You yep. have a five? Yep. I have a five. Could, if you put your five on, on your, uh, your orbital propellant to depot, then, then the will fours... your fours be your, your highest ones? So then you could decrease them both down to threes. Uh, fair enough. Okay. So I decrease them down to threes. How how in a bad place are we going to be if you don't do? This we guy? we definitely need to do that guy. Okay, so that's, I, that's a, I can, that's a must. If I if I give you the threes as your doubles that you can have to cover your doubles, uh huh. Um, I can then we can then get the I can get the six as a five, which I can right. use here to solve this problem. Okay. Yeah, that sounds that sounds good. And we got rid of one card, but we'll still have another one left over, it seems. All right, so there's that. All right, so this will be a five. Oh, sorry, I gotta grab one, and I can put it here. Steven said the level of complexity is awesome. I like complexity and brain burners. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's got plenty of that. <laughs> All right, so that got you your three doubles. We at least got rid of the one card that was a real pain. Right. Um, yeah, so that guy's gone. Let's swap these out here. Yeah, and then we can look at getting rid of that one next. Okay, so let's deal with the, let's deal with the trouble. Yeah, let's see. I mean, I'm still a little nervous about nutrition, frankly, because it's not as good as I'd like it. I just hope we survive. Well, okay. let's find out. Okay, right. power. Okay. What do you got? Power, we are at um, six. This is five, 12, 14, 
6. 14 plus 6, 20 minus 6, um, 14. And then minus 7 is 7. Okay. That's pretty good. All right. Climate. Climate. Okay, here we go. So 6, 11, 12, 13. 13 minus 10 will put us at 3. Okay. Okay. Um, that's all right. That's okay. That's, that's what the emergency supplies are for. <laughs> all right, nutrition time. All right, nutrition. I've got 6, 8. I got 16. So 16 minus 6 is 10. Minus yep. 7 is 3. Okay. There we go. We got two threes, but hey, we didn't die. <laughs> we did not die. Yes. <laughs> we, we might have got close to it. We didn't actually do it. All right. And oxygen. All right. And oxygen, I made 12, uh, 17 minus 8 puts us at 9. So we did, we're, we're breathing fine. Okay. All right. We're hungry, but we're, right. we're breathing fine. That's right. Okay. So. Um, so first off, so because we're in the orange, this is gonna we're gonna use one of our emergency supplies. Okay. So what that means is instead of making three, we're gonna make five. Okay. So that's the good news. All right. So both of these. Bad things. news is we can only do that two more times, or we're we're toast. The other okay. good news is we are done with uh, blood, sweat, and tears. So let's <laughs> take this knife back, and this card is is done. So we don't have to worry about that mission anymore. Okay. Uh, all right, and, and one more good news is we do our advance the uh, tile tier unlock, so we now have tier four. Awesome. So let's take a look. The granddaddy see. of all. Oh, look at, this one's interesting, man. Uh, minus two power multi-purpose research lab. Gain a new die plus two minus two. And what's this yeah. color wheel? Yeah. One? So what that does is that will generate resource to any resource you want so so it's kind of like the habitation module except on steroids is it is it any like all four or just one of four just one of the four okay but okay. but you can choose at like you know so if, if we're doing great except oxygen is just tanking you can go you can direct it to oxygen or you know you can direct it wherever you want okay all right and that is that gives the resource drain we've got now this one's interesting. It's got a wrench on it. Yeah, so that one is it's kind of like the resource bonuses. So every time you trigger that one, you can up a die on a mission card by one. Okay. So it, it can help us get through these mission cards faster. All right. But you know, it does take two dice, and you know, it's a little, it's pretty expensive. So yeah, yeah. Kind of a hassle, but uh okay. The photo catalytic catalysis catalysis. <laughs> Conductor, <laughs> catalyst. You know, don't blame me. NASA came up with all these. Things. <laughs> Conductor, which is a gain a new die plus fourteen power. Solid. Yeah, right. Not that's, bad at all. That's a nice one. And then climate, our fear plus fifteen, with the micro encapsulated PCMs. Uh, mm. Minus two food. We don't have to worry about food any, but we're talking about getting that objective done this would be sweet for that right all um, right well, let's let's flip over disaster card yeah. first see what happens yep see what happens we still have this one so we still need to um oh we still need to destroy one tile oh, one oxygen tile okay okay let me do that real quick i will get rid of uh this one here okay and then we both need to disable a tier two tile okay but the good news is our highest, our most expensive tile doesn't need to disable anymore. Because that one's gone. So that's... I think that's my tier two tile. <laughs> uh, yep, that's my tier two tile. So that stays disabled. Okay. All right. Well, our new one here. Starting to feel dizzy. Oh, yeah, this is, this is getting the, ugly. This would have ended, like, all the entire game for us if that other one was still out. Because that was one's... <laughs> <laughs> <Once> yeah, <and> fours. <laughs> all right so yeah so this one yeah we're hitting four dice so we got two three five and six 
and then each player needs to destroy a tile. <laughs> we were getting so dizzy here on the station, we we crashed into something, knocked it over. All right. Um, can we destroy a disaster tile or no? Uh, a, a disabled tile? No, it needs to be an active tile. Okay. Good to know. Uh, so... Let's see, what am I going to get rid of? I need everything. Um, all right, so if I... <laughs> If I get rid of one, I'm definitely going to be getting buying a tile to replace it. So, right, and I mean you have a few, you have all of your starter tiles, so you know picking one there that maybe you don't need anymore to swap it out with something. Okay. Uh, <laughs> the minus two. It's a bit more drain on food and. Is is oxygen your your hurt point right now? Well, let's see. Yeah, probably oxygen's for the the thing I'm most worried about, frankly. Okay, so then I can't mess with power. Um, I mean, if if you want to do that, go ahead. And what I will do, I'll buy the multi-purpose research lab, and then I can dump that into you know whatever. Well, I was thinking more. Um, if I get my multi-purpose research lab, I could. We can kind of tag team that. Okay. Um, it's two more energy drain, and I think we've been hitting pretty decent on energy numbers. Right. But yeah. Right. Getting a new die plus two minus two, the same thing. So the solar array got knocked out. And okay. I'll buy the multi-purpose research lab to kind of help where we need. Okay. Help. So that's going to drain power by two? Yep. Okay, power's at nine. That's okay. I'm going to... Two, three, five, and six. Habitation module on steroids. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm going to buy this guy here. Plasma methane paralysis. All right, so that's going to cost 11, which is what I have. And it's also going to hit power, but I think power should be okay. Yeah, power should be fine. Oh, this one gives you oxygen. Nice. Yeah, this is a good yeah. makeup for the lost one. Good, good. Right. So we can't roll two, three, five, or six. All right. If bad rolls need to happen, let them happen now. All at once. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> I got to tell you, this is, I, I'm enjoying this a lot. And I could definitely say, like, I'm glad I backed it because once the fulfillment comes through, I'm definitely going to enjoy this um, going through cool. these different scenarios. Yeah, very cool. Yeah, and, and and the fun thing is, like we mentioned up top, like every time you're in play, you can play a different country, and the puzzle is 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 totally different, you know. Yeah. So. Yeah, it's it's got a lot lot going for it. All right, well, let's let's do what we can here. So yeah, if we can get a four through six on this faulty ventilator, that would be a good thing. Okay. Uh, also, so ones are safe. So if we can start. The fire up the welding torch, that would be a good thing. Yep. Because, oh, because our next card that we flip over is a red level disaster card. I'll just point that out as well. Start sweating. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so get ready. You thought it was bad before. <laughs> it's going to get a lot worse. <laughs> oh, yep. I need to reset. Um, yeah. Before we begin, though, do you need, like I said, I can get you five buy power if that would help you buy anything that would be helpful. Uh, no, no, I'm good. Okay. I can get you two. Do you need anything? No, no, I'm good. Okay. All, All right. right. All righty. Let's do it. And not die. Uh, just one, one. <laughs> Uh, I got two fours, which is good. Fours aren't bad. Uh, but right. the two and the five is terrible. 
Yeah, so we need ones and fours, what we got to work with. Everything else is garbage. Hmm. Let's look at me a new die. It's a three. A replay. Um, we'll decrease it by one. I put a one here. Um, he says it's two, three, five, and six. Yep. Yeah, at this point, it's easier to say you can place a one and a four. Okay, so then I could turn this into a four. Okay, that's the save for the last piece. May change a die currently at two to oh, ooh, that could work. Plus minus one to turn it into one. This one will not yet for that one. So four can go. Here, which will get me a die that is either a two or a six. We'll go with right, I got I got the faulty ventilator taken care of. Okay. So, oh, you took care of. Okay, so I'll make it a two. Is this thing where? It's a change, a die currently at two. So I've got another four. Put this here. Make this a two. Or a four. Okay, so I put the four here. Ooh, this is gonna cut it close. Um, I put, <laughs> put the two here. Oh wait, 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 wait. So I can make two plus or minus one. That's not gonna help me at all. And twos are bad, right? Yes. Uh, yes. Ones and fours are the only good. So numbers. then I need to make this a one then from this number. So this will be a one. Put it here. And then this will decrease my highest die by one, which is what's left is this. But ones mean nothing to me. I need a four. I need a four. Um. Uh, Let's see. This can turn into a one because that's what that does. Um, so uh, yeah, I need a four. So can you spare that five, <laughs> and I can give you this one? Yeah, we can we can work that out. All right. So yeah, just I just need any number. So there you go. Okay, so I'll grab that five to a four. Put that here. Right, so I gave you, I gave you a one. Okay. Yeah. Okay. One. Okay. It just got started, whatever it was. So. All it wasn't right. Super important. Okay. Uh, okay. So power. What do you got? Oh, you didn't. You didn't want to use the doubles on the ones on the doubles here. Uh, it, it has to be a three to six. Oh, gotcha. So, okay. All right. And I, and I had to discard them all in order to get this five here and this six here and and then. Oh, the gotcha. Five on the... right. Yeah, so, I had to throw a lot of dice away. So power is six, ten, and if I use my multi-purpose research lab, it's going to be fourteen if I use it for that. 
but it's 10 right now. So what are we sitting at with 10? So right now at 10, we're at negative one. Yep, so I'll use it. I'll use it and make it 14. All oh. right, what's, what's this at three? Okay. All right. I mean, we, you know, we're not dead, so that's good. <laughs> okay. Um, climate is six, 10, 14, 15, 16. So we are at six. Okay. There you go. That's pretty good. Okay. All right. Nutrition. I've got 13. 13 minus 7, 6. Okay. Okay. And then oxygen, I have 6, 13 as well. This is at 5. Okay. So that's not too bad. I mean, we're, we're not dead. Yeah, yeah. What's the lowest? Uh, five? Well, the, the lowest is the three in power. Okay. So we're going to have to use this, our last emergency supply. To make it five. So actually that makes it, so we made six capacity because of emergency supply. Oh, it six. It goes up one. Okay, yeah. so eight. I got eight. Okay. And and then and then also nicely this card is done, so we don't have to worry about that anymore. So we can get rid of all your disable tokens. Yay. <laughs> <All right. laughs> about time I have those all tiles right. back. So what's the new all awful right. card? Yeah, here we go. Okay, and okay, so it's persistent. Toxic dice are two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> disable, Everything but a one. Disable all docking modules. Okay. You're right. This is terrible. <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome. Okay. All right. All right. Then I'd probably say if you can, um, if it's possible for you to give me two, I'm going to unlock my, my, um, my sixth die. Yep. Let's then, do it. All right. I'll do that to unlock the sixth die. All right, and do you need and you need the same? So let me get you what you need. Um, yeah, I'll go ahead and get rid of this one. So you get um, you, either you need two or three. It's up to you. Whatever needs to get uh, you there. Unfortunately, I am four away from. Then I will give you. Then I will give you five. Oh. I'll give you five. You're good. You got five. All right. Okay. Well, that, that's very generous. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, so that's good. That gives me one more die. Yeah, we're just gonna be we're just gonna be throwing dice away at this point. Yeah, pretty much. Um, so two, three, four. It's not gonna be pretty. So the only thing that works is a one. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. Pretty much at this point, you're just you know. Thankfully, <laughs> you can just discard a die in order to get a new dice. And so yeah. at this point, guess what you're gonna be doing. Okay. Right? I mean. So, do your best. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. Put this here to make the six a one. Decrease. You may decrease all highest dice. I gotta get it down to the four. So I'll put this here to make a six. One. Fives. Twos. Hmm. Wow. 
Oh boy. I put the one there. Just gonna be one extra. But ones can't go anywhere else. <laughs> And I get a three for that. I got to throw away a three. Got to play it here. And I got to throw away a four. Yeah. Oof. <laughs> I think I think this might be the day of call. <laughs> yeah, like I said, those those red cards, they're kind of meant to to do you in. Yeah, I've got a lot of uncovered. All right. Well, let's see what we did. Yep. So, power is Seven. Seven? Yep. <laughs> okay, so that puts us at minus four. Yep. Um, climate is six, ten, eleven, twelve. Um, that puts us as two. Okay. Nutrition. <laughs> Nutrition. Nutrition. We've got... Uh, 14. Nutrition's all right. So nutrition's at seven. Okay. So, hey, we ate, you know, we ate food as we froze to death. That's right. <laughs> He's going to die on an empty stomach. So, you know, that's good. All right. Oxygen, I've got six, eight, 14, minus eight. Uh, puts us at four. Okay. So we have, we're breathing and we're eating. We're just freezing to death. And, <laughs> and the power's gone out anyhow. <laughs> oh my gosh that was awesome though i i really enjoyed it. i i enjoyed it i mean like the whole time i'm leaning in you know i'm fully leaning in engaged and just kind of looking at this and saying okay how can i make this work and right. um the red cards you aren't kidding they 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 punish <laughs> they punish so yeah any... usually you know in a winning game um you 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 maybe deal with one red card, but if you have to, if you have to flip over that second one, it's almost guaranteed you're gonna lose. Okay, they're just they're meant to kill you. Okay, all right. Is there any so, tips that you would have had for this specific one, like where you have to just where it's just ones you can play, or is it just this is kind of what it is type of deal? Yeah, at this point, you know, once you get to the level four where it's eating so many dice, you just you're kind of chucking dice right and left. Like I I, I discarded four dice. You yeah, know, just yeah. Kind of make things work. This is a fun game. I enjoyed it. I, 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 I'm interested to see the variant that you have for the solo play. Um, to to see exactly how. Okay, if we so as a solo person, you have to be in charge of all four resources, and right. how that and how what what you give to help mitigate a lot of that. But other than that, I mean, I I like it. I think it's pretty solid. Um, oh, yeah. Uh, what do you guys think in the chat? Do you think that? What, what, let me know uh, your thoughts. I know Stephen was saying like it looks like the level of complexity is something that he really enjoys. But let me know your thoughts if you enjoy what you saw. If you have any questions um, for Jeff, um, yeah, this was fun. <laughs> this was a lot Very of fun. Cool. <laughs> most part you know right up until the end we were, we we're hanging on we had a few rounds that were really good we had some rounds that weren't great.
few rounds just started really. Yeah. At this point, if you're not kind of close to winning, it's just there to kind of end the game for you. Yeah, yeah, it's it's a lot of fun, and it's going to provide a huge challenge to people who like this type of complexity. I mean, um, I, I definitely say that being a, the the thought process has got to be going, and there were a few times, usually during streams, like I'm talking to, as my brain's running, but there, this was the the thought process was okay. I need to be quiet for a second, shut my mouth, and think about this. <laughs> so this this has been great. I love this so much. Um, I we appreciate it uh, so much. Thank you so much for taking time out of your schedule to um, to come play this game with me on the channel and. It's been great. <laughs> yeah, th thanks for, uh, you know, I'm sorry we had to die in space, <laughs> but, you know, such it is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it happens. It happens to the best of us. <laughs> it's right. <laughs> ask, an, ask any red shirt on Star Trek. It happens. <laughs> it goes out of space all the time. <laughs> No, exactly. but it's it's really great. Um, seriously, I I look forward to more information on this um, as, as it develops, and I know that you do the monthly updates uh, as you go through talking about the space station and stuff. So I look, I always read those, and I'm always intrigued by it. This just has me more amped to play this game more. Very cool. Um, Very cool. I, I enjoyed it a lot. Uh, do you have any questions for us at all before before we go? Um. Uh, no, I mean, I want to say thanks for having me on the show. I really appreciate it. And thanks for everyone who watched. And, you know, hopefully you were able to see uh, kind of kind of how the game works and kind of the, the puzzle you have to kind of work your way through and, um, you know, check it out again when you have a chance. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, so just for people coming up next, um, so the next stream that I have is going to be Folklore. We're going to be getting into Folklore, The Affliction and um, then back into Gloomhaven. And um, the surprise that Steven and I have cooked up are, is going to be next week, Thursday, that um, i let Jeff know a little bit about, but I'll keep it a surprise for everybody else on the channel. And we'll post the schedule for that. It'll be Thursday. It'll be at 9 p.m. Eastern. So, uh, you know, for people who can make that time or in a different time zone, that that works out a little bit better. That'll be fantastic to have that go. Other than that, thank you so much, Jeff. Jeff, Uproarious Games, Intrepid, it's still up for late backing on Kickstarter if you want to get that. And remember, with the late back, you do get the expansion that's on there um, that that's comes right. with it and the upgrades of the Kickstarter bonuses. Hey. Okay, all right. Sorry about that, everybody. Um, we had Jeff on the line, and um, he hopped off because OBS exploded on me. But the one thing that we were saying at the end was um, just keep in mind that the Kickstarter is still available for you to um, purchase this late back. With late backing, you do get the bonus um, mission, critical missions, which is add some more missions to it, add some more items to it that would be fantastic, All right? Let's see what we get in the box. So you get base box, four, four astronauts. You get a bunch of uh, each nations that are on there. You get dice. You get these boards that go along with it that, that uh, Jeff was saying was great, was really great uh, quality and made. And then you get these levels. So eight emergency resupply cards to help you with 22 meteor shower disaster cards to rip holes through the station. I watched a playthrough of this and it was crazy. And then on top of that, solar storms on there. The one that we did, which was Toxic Elite today that we did, that one was on there as well, which is fantastic. Then with the expansion, you get four more and you get more disasters with it. Four more career tiles. And you get more disasters that go along with it that he's building out. It's just, uh, I mean, new resupply, all these, a uh, game insert that comes with it. Um, I'm, it, the, this is just, to me, this was a lot of fun. I want to let y'all know for anyone who watched, uh, who watched it through, this was a lot of fun. It made me think a lot. I know I will like this game. I know for a fact. I'm not sure what your proclivities are. If you, if you would enjoy this type of brain burn, um, 
I just know this game has my name on it. And there is a solo mode that Jeff's going to be doing with it. So just know that the solo mode, I I'm super excited to see it. I know he was saying, he was like, you know, as they develop the solo mode, if they, you know, they may reach out and we may do another stream with Jeff and we'll go through the solo mode and go through that stuff. That would be fantastic if that's possible or if that works out that way. Um, I think this is a good back. Like, the di every single nation played different. Every single card meant different things. And even my cards, which messed with his supply had a different style than how his cards mess with my supply. There is a lot of nuance to it, and it's, it's just perfect in, in that complexity. I mean, I really enjoyed it. So it's 60 bucks to back, and that is everything. That's not like, oh, 60 bucks plus this, plus this, plus this. That's everything. But for my, for my Canadian friends and my other friends across the pond, we want to talk about shipping. So let's look at shipping. So for the US, UK, and Germany, the first copy is six bucks. Uh, that's what they're calling zone one. Now this, this may shift as it tends to do. Canada, nine bucks shipping. I mean, I'm just saying, nine bucks shipping. That, that sounds fantastic. Um, the rest of the world, Australia, my friends in Australia, nine bucks shipping. Rest of the world, 15 bucks shipping. That, that isn't the rest, you know, that, that don't land in these areas. The shipping makes sense. And we've seen shipping, it may shift, but it looks like it's heavily, he, he even said, shipping is heavily discounted and would be charged through our pledge manager after the campaign ends. So he's worked out the details of this to make it so that it can work really well for us. I, I think this is like a really, I'm thumbs upping it. now. I know a lot of people would be like, how can he do that? And I wish we still had him on so we can ask some of those questions. But to me, this is fantastic. This is, this is great. Um, the team, which is Jeff that you saw, um, Jeff Krauss, who, were, who is this co-designer, a few of the artists and a few of the, um, yep, that goes through. And then we just kind of talk about the pledge manager stuff. So. As I said, I've already backed it. I just I'm not logged in the kit for you guys to see. Hey, I backed this thing, and then my shelf of shit, and then you know my ridiculous amounts of kickstarters. Uh, but yeah, it's on here. Um, supply balancing is a big thing, Stephen. I think Stephen, I think you would like this game a lot. I think you would like this game uh, a lot. But sixty bucks, um, if you're able to afford the sixty bucks price tag for it, it's well worth the value. I think you're getting way more game than that. Um, so I'd say, I'd say this is a no brainer for me to back on Kickstarter, but you still can late back, late pledge it, um, from a, a brewery. So if you click on that, it'll take you to CrowdOx to where it goes to, um, 68 bucks, just one thing to do, one thing to buy. And yeah, I, I think it's solid, but anyway. Uh, let's go back up. Well, we can finish off here. Um, so I apologize for my background. It's a little weird. I'm getting used to the new shift and lighting and everything. So I'm learning as I go. Um, but it's what it is. We still had fun. We still had a good time. Thank you so much, um, Jeff, back from Uproarious Games. Thank you so much for allowing me to play this game, uh, Alpha Access, and share it with my and share it with my subscribers and Patreons. Patreons, thanks so much. Big heart. Big heart, thank you so much for backing me um, so that I can deliver this type of content to you and uh, speak with great guys like Jeff, um, great designers like Jeff and Uproarious Games that just want to um, share the love of the hobby with us. Um, subscribers, thank you. <laughs> thank you, subscribers. I appreciate it a lot. Um, remember, Folklore next on Sunday. Next week is going to be an interesting week because next week... Monday, I'm streaming. Wednesday, I'm streaming. Thursday, I'm streaming. Saturday is going to be a stream. And Sunday is going to be a stream. So Monday, Gloomhaven. Um, Wednesday is going to be Hostage Negotiator. Because I was saying if I did Arkham. So next week, actually, is it next week that's Arkham? I got to go look. I got to go look. Sorry. Monday is, um, is Gloomhaven. 
Wednesday is Arkham Horror the Card Game. Thursday, um, I'll announce that on Sunday stream what Thursday is going to be because I'm still working out the details with Steven. We're going to talk about it tonight and get it straightened out. So Thursday is going to be the Kanji After Dark stream, uh, which will be great. Um, Friday, uh, sorry, Saturday is going to be Folklore again. So I'm going to get that scheduled um, and it's going to be in the daytime. So probably around like 10 a.m. Um, and Sunday is finishing off Deep Madness, and we're going to have fun with it. So it's going to be a grand time. We're going to have a lot of fun. Other than that, insert comment here. Thank you so much for joining me for this. Thank you again, Jeff Beck. Everyone else, uh, have a good night, and see you next time.